What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the new game on the channel. I am very, very excited to be playing this. We have a lot to discuss before we begin this playthrough. Um, first of all, hello and welcome. I'm your host, Cinetrainer1, and I do 100% guides on YouTube and Twitch, so you can watch, of course, whatever it is that you prefer to watch your content on. Uh, the higher quality is always going to be on YouTube and um, more interaction is always going to be on Twitch just because it's a, a little a little uh, faster, not as much delay because of the quality. So with that being said, what are we playing today? Well, we are going to be going over Mafia, the definitive edition on the PlayStation 5. This is obviously the PlayStation 4 version of the game being played on the PlayStation 5. The game is, I believe, only 30 frames a second um, with upscale 4K, I think. I don't think they've had any patches or anything uh, since this came out. I believe it came out before the new gen consoles came out. Like, I want to say, like, just right before, like in 2020, somewhere around in there. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look at the uh, trophy list first, and then we'll, I'm going to guide you through exactly how I'm going to go about playing the game so you guys can can get an understanding of what I'm doing and what my plans are. Hello, Grifter. I want to say hello to everyone out there. Renee, uh, Dave, Nick, Angry, Natalie, um, Carl Winslow. Um, my cat loves me. <laughs> I love that name. Um, M. Spencer uh, and Kev. And of course, Grits are over on Twitch. So there are a total of 44 trophies. Let's go all the way down. Let's view them. So obviously we have our platinum, then we have our specific chapter trophies. There actually are quite a few um, chapter trophies in this game. So pretty much every chapter we pass, we're going to be unlocking a trophy. I like that. I like that it gives you a sense of earning something every single time. But it's also very easy to, 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 to keep in line with what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so once you have those, then you need to either beat the game on easy, medium, or hard. Then you need to complete the game on classic difficulty, which is a killer in itself. And I'll explain that in just a moment here once we get through the trophies. Uh, I have a lot of explaining to do. You have some explaining to do, Lucy. Um, supercharged, uh, won the race. That one is going to be definitely fun. Uh, line pockets, we got to pay a fine to the Lost Heaven Police. Resist arrest by the Lost Heaven Police. Uh, lost the cops after a five-star police chase. Locked pick five cars on the streets, reached 50 miles per hour while driving the Bolt Ace, perform a wheelie, collect 15 vehicles, collect 30 vehicles, found a pulp magazine, found all of them. Then we got Gangster Monthlies. We got to find one and then find all. Same thing for Gangsters of the United States cigarette cards. Uh, find a hidden car, find all hidden cars, Mystery Fox, all the Mystery Foxes, uh, and complete the collection. And then there's another hidden trophy here. Um which we're going to go ahead and take a look at because that's what we do here. Took Polly to a place of disrepute. All right. So with this being said, the biggest challenge in this game by far is completing the game on classic mode. I've already done this. I've already beat this game. You guys can check out my walkthrough. I've already got a walkthrough of this game on my channel, Definitive Edition on PC, uh, and I beat it on classic mode. So to, to, to answer everyone's question, Yes, the race is hard, but also it's very doable. I've done it, I've beat it many times. So it's really just getting used to the controls and then uh, getting a little bit of luck when it comes to the RNG gods uh, during the races in the AI. That's gonna be probably the biggest challenge, I'd say. Also, another big challenge on this one is on classic mode, you die very quickly. And this is not a newer style game where you have regenerative health. No, in this game, you actually have to find uh, kind of like a, a medicine cabinet and then you have to pop some pills, I guess, uh, in order to um, to uh, to get your health back up. So because of that, even when you go from one section to another, you're going to have the same amount of health that you had previously. That can make it very difficult, meaning that you started, uh, let's say you had go through this big cutscene, and then all of a sudden you get in this big fight. If you had very, uh, if you had a sliver of health, it's going to be really, really tough to do. You can do this in two playthroughs if you want, but I'm only going to do it in one playthrough. We're going to start on classic mode. That way we don't have to play it on easy 
or and then go back and play it on classic just one full playthrough then we're going to do the free roam section they separate free roam and the story missions the story missions are divided by actual kind of linear story missions where you go from one to the next um there is essentially no free roam in the story itself so you have to go out to free roam so we're going to pick up whatever collectibles that we see during the missions. We're going to try to get as many as we can. I might use a guide just to make sure that I get all of them during the missions, because if you miss a certain collectible in a mission, you might have to go back and actually play that mission again. So we'll try to make sure we pick up everything that we can during that. And then the other collectibles that are all around the city, we will pick up in free roam mode, as well as when we try to go around and grab all the vehicles, all of the everything else that you... Um, that you need. Uh, yeah, I took my meds today, so we're good. Um, with that being said, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy. Um, let's see. We're just going to have it one above. I'm going to go ahead. All right. I am recording now. I will have a non-commentary playthrough of this game up on my Sinistrano 1 no-com channel. You can check that out. Um, that will be uh, for those that don't care about commentary. Uh, this can be quite a long game uh, to play, depending on how well you know it or not. But uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Obviously, we'll turn subtitles on. I am going to be turning music off, however because there's a lot of uh, potential copyright music in here. And I wanna make sure that our channel is covered. Remember, all donations are going towards a new monitor that is desperately needed. So let me go ahead and get in here and turn the audio, the music down. We're gonna leave it at like a very, very minimum, uh, just so you guys can kind of hear it slightly but we're just trying to protect ourselves because of copyright. So um, hope you guys enjoy. This is not going to be easy. It's it can be done in about 25 or so hours. Um, but I really do feel that this is the kind of game that kind of sits really good with us. Sorry if you guys can hear me when I turn away. And I, I really think you guys are going to enjoy this game. Um, what I'm going to do is have up some type of guide like for the collectibles so we don't try to miss them. You know what? Well, I don't think we need that for right now. Why don't we just wait on that and then we'll try to pick up whatever it is that we see along the way. If you guys know of any of the collectibles that are out there, please let me know. Make sure that we don't miss them because they some of them can be actually easily easily missed. So with that being said, let's go into controls. So one of the big things that you want to make sure that you do if you're playing this on console is have aim assist up as high as possible because the aiming in this game is not um, not the best. It's you have this big circle, so you don't really know if you're 100 percent going to get a headshot or not, and it can make it really tough. And the aiming controls, sensitivity-wise, are not the greatest. So we're going to turn um, aim assist up. The second thing that we're going to do is, obviously, we're going to put this on uh, classic, which gives you simulation police and driving, which means that when you're going through the city, you need to turn on your cruise control, or not your cruise control, but set your speed limit so that you're not breaking the law, because otherwise the cops will come after you very, very easily. Um, you have to kind of play by the rules in this game. Um, let's see here. The other thing that I want is skip drive on. This is very important. It's not on to start with. So skip drive lets you skip uh, the drive from one location to another when there's nothing story related happening inside it. So this can speed up your playthrough significantly because sometimes it takes, you know, from one side of the um, of the map all the way to the other. We're going to use this a lot because we're going to be, you know, this is a platinum guide. We're going to be doing a lot of driving through the city, so we're going to see that enough. I'll try, and if there's like some type of conversation going on and it's story related, I'll try not to skip the drive. That way you guys can actually hear more of the story. 
but for the most part we will be using the skip drive function that way we can get through the missions and get the story out of the way and then uh, be able to focus on all the extra things that we're going to need to do so with that being said i think we are ready to go again don't forget to leave a like comment below let me know what your favorite um mafia game is also in the comments below not just in the chat but in the comments below as well so with that being said there's also a nor mode that you, uh, the, a noir mode that you can turn on which makes it black and white which is pretty cool but we're gonna keep it for color for now so i've bored you guys enough i think you're all ready to do this um it's go time so classic for players looking for a classic challenge enemies are lethal as opposed to being on easy when they're, you know, they just firing BB guns, I guess. I don't know. Police respond to more crimes. So on, on easy, the cops say, we don't care as much, I guess. Fewer UI indicators. And ammunition left in clip is lost when reloading. That's a big one. So everyone knows me and how I am. I reload almost after every shot because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I do that in video games. I don't know why. Uh, so you need to be careful and make sure that you don't reload until you are out. There's also another section in the game that's really, really tough, which is the section where you are in a chase and you're like trying to shoot everybody that's chasing you. Um, that section is really tough because of the health. Um, you just you can die so quickly. It's, it, it's crazy. I think we're going to have lots of fun. There's going to be some classic, classic strain moments here. All right. Hi. Transmission on. We're going to keep transition on automatic. We'll keep the tutorials on for those of you that are seeing this for the first time. But let's go. All right, guys, are you ready? It's go time. Two K presents a Hangar Thirteen game. Of course, this is based off the original Mafia game from 2002 or something like that, I think, or before then. It was like really, really cool game. You can actually still play that. Uh, the controls are god awful, but that's how most games were back then. So um, I would say when it comes to remakes, this is done very, very well. We are going to be doing all of the Mafia series over time. So once we finish Mafia 1, we'll obviously go and do something else. And eventually we're going to come back and start Mafia 2, and then we'll do Mafia 3. Uh, we're trying to do complete guides for all games that have like a sequential order and do those in that specific order. So hopefully you guys enjoy. This is Mafia, the definitive edition. And for those of you that don't know, I am using the PlayStation 5 DualSense Edge. This specific controller... Can you guys hear me well enough? I hope. Let me know if I need to turn anything up or down, okay? really good too right i love the music i just know that it has a possibility of being copyrighted so if you can support this and you want to support uh the channel like i said the biggest thing to do is leave a like always um support the channel by using the stream elements link in the description um you can use any form of payment or whatever to help uh, fund the channel which keeps it going strong so that we can keep doing more and more video games like this and more and challenging ourselves more and more The first time I heard the phrase five by five, 
was uh, the the TV show Angel. Did anybody watch Angel back in the early 2000s? It was a spinoff from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, one of my favorite shows of all time, Angel and Buffy. I was a big, uh, I always remember, you know, being like a teenager, um, watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer when it came on. I was like, this is amazing. Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respect in bad just coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. Said on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have something. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a letter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. Your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. What? Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. It's such good writing, too, right? Grace, I don't know how everything got so balled up. Morning, Jacob. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. <laughs> I was a cab driver back in 30. An offer you can't refuse. Let me know how the quality looks, if everything looks good and smooth. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Already heard the Wilhelm scream. Get up, Polly! There's a taxi here. We'll be okay. Welcome, Tomic from Pro Move. Poland. Come on. Or Tomic? Hopefully, I said that right. Ah. Where to? Anywhere. Fast. 
All right, here we go. I got a gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell they knew we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Hold tight. I'm gonna try some. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Your leg okay up there? Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. He's getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. So you got different camera angles. I will tell you that there are certain times where I'm going to be using first person to drive. Like, especially during the race. Okay, because I find it the easiest for me you once we're over to the complete it. I'm getting tired out of questions. This is on classic mode. You'll find that out soon enough. <laughs> Four of them. Ah, shit. Now you're done. I know some shortcuts that'll slow them down. I don't care. All right, so if you take a look at your map, you'll see that in certain missions and stuff like that, when you're chasing the law and all that, you have these moments where you can like go through these little areas these areas essentially are get out of jail free cards they they provide you like a little cinematic that helps you to escape people that are following you so how you doing just shake them off that was your shortcut i lost him tonight not all of them these guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. The more he knows, the more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Ha <laughs> ha! You left them in the dirt. We ain't clear yet. Keep driving. All right, so where is this next one here? Uh, we've got another one up ahead in a little bit. We could, okay, I'll tell you what. We're gonna take the second right, this road with the line, and then we're gonna take two lefts up ahead. Four bastards digging the road for the works program aren't gonna thank us for this. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four, five maybe? I think about when Emmy's call for more. Sure feels like it. Next time, we take more muscle. We should have expected trouble. But when the boss hears about this, there'll be hell to pay. You're one hell of a wheel, man, I'll give you that. They must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. One of the things you'll notice is they're gonna like just appear out of nowhere. You saw how that car just kind of just appeared. West Harbor Bridge can be fast. This is kind of what happens in this game is there's a lot of um, enemies just kind of spawning in at, at certain times. It can get a little frustrating, so. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah, we can make it. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Here we go, nice. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. So I believe you can... Think he's wheeled. You could do like a hand turn with circle. We talk it through back at the bar. But it's really, really hard to judge. The driving is, is I wouldn't say realistic, but it's really, really tough. 
And all cars act differently. Some cars are going to have better handling than others. So keep that in mind. If you press in your um, touchpad, you'll go into this mode here. This mode will allow you to uh, stay the speed limit so you don't get in trouble. So the Aries, please. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Also, there's a lot of audio problems in the game. So you're going to hear like little weird audio problems. They haven't fixed them yet either. Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I actually think the driving is really good. It's really well done. Even though it's challenging, it's you enough. get used to it very easily. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? That lady had bullet holes coming out of her arch. <laughs> See you around, kid. I hope Mafia 4 is in development. That would be awesome. Improved on so many things in Mafia Definitive Edition that Mafia 3 had. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So. Right there. Back then, I was out. Yeah, I love the Godfather games. I played both Godfather 1 and 2. There you go. A chase through the night. First trophy complete. Like a glove. And this is exactly how the game is. You're going to go straight from one chapter to the next. Each chapter has a mission. Some of the times the missions will be really short. Other times the mission could be over an hour. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Now you you got a uh, you have a radio system as well. So you have to make sure you turn that off. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. You can hold down uh, specifically. Careful, please. I always drive careful. All right, so we're gonna turn on the um, the speed limiter. You can hold down the right on the direction pad to get rid of the radio. You're still going to get, like, music in the cutscenes and stuff. You just won't have any music while you're, like, in gameplay, which isn't that bad. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Obviously, don't do something like that when cops are around. 
Like, this game takes its, its wanted system very seriously. And it's much, much more difficult to escape the cops in this game than it is in GTA. What you saw, like in the previous mission, those little areas, they don't happen all the time. Like, so every time you're getting chased by the cops, you're not going to really find those areas. So, with that in mind, you need to... You need to be careful. I can't stress it enough that you could be doing a mission and, you know, right, right towards the end and then you fail because of some driving or whatever. It, it can be frustrating. These are the old classical style games, so... Here you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. Can't drive without the radio. Better find a no fare. Yeah, let's not take that way. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, man, I'm trying not to get in trouble, so... <laughs> trying to keep it copacetic. There's a lot of collectibles, yes. Art gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Alright, as you can see, sometimes you have time limits. Taking some time out. What's it some of them can actually be really hard too. Just Anytime you see a cop though, immediately put on your turn limit or your your so speed limiter. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw them before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Now you see the little blue dots? You've got the blue cars, then you've got the blue dots. The blue dots means that's a police officer who is just walking. Alright, looks like we made it. Good. Thanks, pal. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. I actually wish other games would implement the driving from this game, honestly. I like it that much. Today's been a son of a bitch. All the turns feel real. Each car has a different feel. Hey, Gabby. Uh, this is supposed to no Empire Empire Bay is Chicago, so I guess this would be New York. Like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Moose. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <laughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. 
Yeah, I'm going to do the best that I can to get every collectible that's inside missions. If you guys really, really want to help me, but if you know exactly where collectibles are, make sure you tell me at least 20 to 30 seconds before if you're on YouTube. If you're on Twitch, then you can tell me right when you see it. Um, because there is that huge delay, so you got to really be careful. There's definitely going to be some missions we're going to have to complete twice because we missed a collectible. But I'll do my best to look around when the game gives me opportunities. You guys know how thorough I am. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. The foxes you can, I believe, get during free play. But there are certain collectibles you can only get during missions. I believe. Whoa, Jesus. Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Oh. Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I was gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while. Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Get the way from here. You'd you'd hear a lot of copyright music right here. That's why I got that turned down. Just to keep ourselves from uh, having to worry about it. Also, collectibles aren't hard to find because they automatically show up when you get close enough. Whoa, that was close. Whoa! <laughs> he said to me at three. Son of a bitch, always keeping me waiting. Just always be on the lookout by looking at your bottom right. That way you'll know if there's one close. All right, here we go. See, that's the music that was going right there, so I'm going to talk during this right here just to make sure that I'm okay. Just to try to keep uh, copyright down. This is what does uh, support the channel, so... Hey, support dumb, kid. Uh, my family, is what I mean. Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this is the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. I could say Polly is one of my favorite characters. I like Sam, too, though. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. Freeze, we have not finished RDR2 yet. We're, it's, it's still ongoing. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. All great actors. He's gonna want to hear about this. This could easily be a movie and it would win Oscars, essentially. I mean, easily. If this was a movie, it would definitely win Oscars, in my opinion. All right, The Back Streets of Little Italy. Look at us, already moving forward. That's what I like to see. I think there's a total of 20 chapters. I mean, listen to that music, right? It's so good. He definitely reminds me of um, Servino, a Paul Servino type of character, you know? The mob boss. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping Thank us. Thanks, Gritzer. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? 
Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. What are what we doing, are we here? doing here? <laughs> I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar of yours. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. Awesome, Matt. I'm glad they're helping you, man. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. So good, right? The the, the no, cutscenes no, are no, so good. Here. So tread careful, okay? Sure. All right. So before we all yet. Nah. We do anything. What we want to do yes. is I always like to, to check every room that I can. It looks like we have a letter right Ooga. here. Some cabby. Dear Salieri, I am writing to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be tending the weather of my daughter. Please, if there are any further arrangements you would wish for, let me know. It will be a wonderful day and for the world to see the occasion as you blessed, you make it even more special and memorable. Your friend, Luca Abrazzi. <laughs> well, Do you like that? Anything you good? Drive the boss? Nah, I, nah, you know, I'm watching. So, all collectibles will look like this. They'll have like a pink or they'll have some type of emblem on them. There we go. There's our first one. It is a cigarette card. So we've just got our next trophy. Already look at us moving up in the world. So what you do is you go into here, go over to collection, and then you can see the different ones you have. And you can see we picked up a cigarette card. There's Paulie. Look at the details of the card. You can also uh, flip the card, look, zoom in, zoom out. That way you can see the backside of it. There are no like nudity cards or anything like that, like you're like the Playboy posters that you'd see in Mafia 2. So you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about that stuff in this game. There's there's none of that. I think they decided that uh, they weren't going to do that anymore. There's also foxes. You see at the bottom right is a fox. You got to find foxes throughout the levels um, and there are, they show up in different areas. I, I don't know where they all are. I just know where one is actually. Prohibition is here to stay. Let me read this like a newspaper. Prohibition here to stay. Production and sale of alcohol to remain illegal. In a speech to gathered press, President Herbert Hoover related today that the noble experiment of prohibition will remain in place. Forced to respond to the democratic criticism, Hoover also promised a more efficient and better funded prohibition bureau to prevent profiteering and smuggling. <laughs> i try to get into it a little bit. All right, so I think that's about it that you could find right here. Hey, use guys. Use guys. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough, but we gotta go. Long drive back. You think there's five foxes during the missions and the rest are in a free room? Yeah, so if you know that there is a fox, if someone can have like a guide ready to let me know if there's a fox in the specific chapter I'm in, that'll really, really help keep the replay down, you know what I mean? Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. 
This here's Tommy and... Well, glad to have you here, JP. Doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just a thing. I got just a thing for you, Polly. I got just a Plastic thing. Plastic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. I, I, I. To me, that just seems like an sure, awful waste of good me. alcohol. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Especially since this is the Prohibition era. Me your top. Let me know if Polly gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Thanks a lot. First off, I need to go ahead and grab this here. If the boys don't scare you away. All right, that's our first Pulp Fiction detective comic. In the beginning here, we're going to unlock trophies rather quickly. And all you do is just see the cover. It's not like you get to actually, it's an actual comic. It's just the cover. So you can zoom in. He zooms in pretty far. Look at that. Hello, legs. They just keep going and going. You can look around, sure. But not in ways the room. Except for the magazine I just got, eh? Yeah. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interest in her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black man. Watch out for the PC edition in this game. I, I guess I, I downloaded it again to see which edition I was going to do. And it was freezing and stuttering like every five minutes. Hey, genius! So I don't, I don't know if, it, I don't think it's my rig. I think it's the game. I don't know if anyone else had a problem with that. Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Hey, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. But you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, to the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. I'm always driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> I think there's a fox. Day, I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> I love that. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something. My there's a fox inside that room. Ago. We were in, just I so you know. know. Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. We're okay. So long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through? You want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. 
Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let them see your face. Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. Now, notice how we have the skip drive on? At this point, there's no more really story-related stuff that you're going to have, but we're not going to skip it just yet, because I want you guys to see a little bit of the world here in the beginning. But we are going to get into it and do skipping there's later on. There's a line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, and you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. You see these little signs? They're not actual signs, so don't be afraid of actually hitting them. <laughs> I was always, in my first playthrough of this, I was so afraid I was going to hit those signs, but they're actually not really signs. <laughs> Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Now, there's actually stealth in this game too, guys. So there will be moments. Go quiet. Where we're going to yeah, go quiet, right? Yeah, like where that. we're going to be doing stealthy. So it's right up my alley. You'll get there some. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chunk busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. Just make sure that if you guys see collectibles, you repeat them. If you don't see me acknowledge that you said a collectible, Re repeat it every now and then so that I know for sure. Excellent. Careful. I get the money on time. Ah, uh, he's good for it. Hey! What the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye. And Dino makes you guard the cars? Listen, fella, who are you? You know Dino? Yeah, I know Dino. There was this one time when I had the chance to get him from behind and choke him out. But for some reason, I hung back. Missed my chance. Just like that. <laughs> you can pick up bats and stuff like that too in the game. You can pick up bodies. Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. All right. Use the bat. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car. Get Knock him down, Tom. I'll make you got some kind of death wish. Oh, Jesus. So, triangle um, is your um, kind of like your dodge. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Love the smell of burning paintwork. Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you keep it. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. Take it. Making sure there's not a. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There's Don't let him get away! Right. Get the 
All right, so I always like to find out where I'm going first because you can't set a wave point in this game, so you have to really take a look at the map a lot. Um, so I think the suggestion is we're going to make a right, and then we're going to make a left, and then that should get us close. Driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed, but let's not get them real pissed. Now, as you can see the little handcuff symbol in the right side, that means that if they pull you over, they're just going to handcuff you and arrest you. Other times, they might kill you, but it'll let you know which type of aggression the cops have, which is really handy. Uh, that way you know, like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get myself up or something like that. Um, we need to get an achievement for allowing them to arrest us. We need to get an achievement for allowing them to try to arrest us and then resisting. Way good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days. It's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. I've already beat the game on Classic already. Behind Twice, bar, actually. Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So I, I kind of know what I'm doing, but we're still going to die a lot because it's impossible not to. I always thought that to be in a family, you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Oh, some guys, sure. Their cousin got made or you like Carlos, pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. What happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Why? Here we go. There's a boiler. This one's We just picked up science. So let's see what one this one is. Super science. These, I believe, are all not story. Can be found in chapters. You can also find these in the world itself. Day of the Comet. Up of a better car with a broken window? Well, she ain't never killed nobody. All right, there's our first fox. As you can see, there's no sound, probably because my music is down. So maybe the sound for the foxes are tied to um, actual, like, the, the sound in the game. But these are the foxes that you'll need to get. You'll hear a sound like that once, uh, once you pick it up. Now, I don't know where any other foxes are, so I'm going to need your guys' help um, to find out what the fox says. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Uh, sorry if you're getting any buffering. I always stream at 25 uh, megabytes a second, and that can be pretty hard on some uh, people. There's also another collectible upstairs, but as you can see, I don't know if we can... Yeah, they're not heading us... They're not letting us go up there just yet. He's still with you, then. Somehow. Yeah. Hey, boss. 
It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella. Fish, this is a great game. I totally no, recommend you to buy it. Burns out. Buy the right. Mafia trilogy. And You're missing out on some great games. You get stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. He's never played GTA or Mafia 2. We dealing the hard stuff. <laughs> I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. That's fine, Gritzer. Just stick to that guide and let me know. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. Loyalty. You know what that is, Tommy? <laughs> They're loyal. Huh. That's right. You're in for a rude awakening, buddy. Stay straight with me. <laughs> you're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don said you. you. You won't ever need to worry about me. Until 1938. Listen, in eight okay, years, then. maybe. But right now, I'm yours. Welcome to the family. Frank does almost look like Strauss in Red Dead Redemption 2. He's a, he's a descendant. He's a loan shark. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. There we go. The way this city works, complete. All right. Moving on up. All right, so chapter four now. So let us know where all the collectibles are in chapter four. The bar was slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Fortunately, there's no tuberculosis in this game. Thinking. Maybe life in Cillieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. But what did I know? Finish it off. You, Tommy? Come on, there's still a gun yeah. in your tank. Get Boss it back. is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. I swear this game is so like this game looks so good. I remember seeing still images of this game and just being blown the freak away. So if I'm not mistaken, I can come up here. I don't think I can do the changing of the outfit yet. But yeah, you can see it there. See the little pink thing on the mini map? That's how you know. There's a collectible when you get close to a certain area. Um, notice how it's in this room here. It doesn't look like we can actually get into there yet. So I think the collectibles actually stay in these specific areas. You can actually see that there's one there. It's it's I don't know what the pink ones are, but you can see it's right there. But you can't get to it just yet.
Of course, I always look around in every room too, just to be safe. Deliveries have gone out, so we're running kind of low for the bar. There's an exchange tonight. No need to worry. I gotta go to the market for the legal stuff too. Huh. I'll get you some money from the dump. Hey there, pretty. I'm gonna get to know you a little later, okay? Recognize his face. You're gonna want to see more of it. You know, it's not every day you see a floating chalk, but Mafia, they give you everything you could desire. Yeah, there's going to be a collectible in the back of the, uh, the shop. Day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just this one has this mission has a lot of stealth in it. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Yeah, this was like my first foray into stealth in this game. This game has very, very basic say stealth. Something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. A couple of times. They don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Like I said, the um good posture, real mean now. It's just a big circle. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. All right, open the chamber and away you go. It's all done with one right. button, too. Last thing, needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finny. Tell you what, man, I love the way when you enter and exit buildings, man, the sun hits you. Just like in real life. That's a cool little feature. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motors to him? He's got at least five garages this side of town. I don't know if you need to read these newspapers, but we're still going to read everything we see. One year since the crash. The worst panic in Wall Street peacetime history was one year ago today, and still no escape from the wider economic depression that has followed it. Unemployment reached 8% this month, but given the prevailing trend of shattering business, banks and foreclosed farmsteads, some economics warned that this could double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. Special picture features showing scenes from every state. I don't know why I use that voice, but that's... That's just the, always the voice that I that I think of you know in these old time get into games and movies. Coming? Elbow goes through, reach inside. Hey, Noble, how you doing? Easy. And an afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch and learn. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. He's still, um, he's still kind of pissed that he almost shot his eye out, though, with Come his Red Rider BB gun. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Have a good day, for fellas.
First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. So we're going to skip the drive, and this is how you can see exactly what happens when you skip the drive. You just get this black screen as it loads, and then it puts you close to where your objective is. Otherwise, it would take you quite a long time because Watch what we do today, Tom. some missions are <clears throat> very big. Breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you got to think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. I always like to walk slow because I'm telling you, man. This stuff looks so realistic. The graphics in this game are absolutely amazing. Sam, Ladies first. Holly, how are you? Hey, it's Nico. It's not Nico, it's um Roman. She's Roman. Into a pain in the ass just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. All right, we got a little note here. Uh, from the manager of the Grand Imperial Bank. How would he sound? He's going to sound like this. Dear Mr. Bartello, Bartorella, this letter is notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since July 15, 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process on your home and business. Please act accordingly. Christopher Marchino, manager of the Grand Imperial Bank. Now he's got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. I think it's on the other side here. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. And Nico, let's go bowling! Al. That was more, that was more Italian. Out on us, <laughs> but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without pain? The Greg Cuts. You gonna take all day? Sam. Although Sam looks nothing like actual Sam, the other one looked like Polly. Hey, Tommy, we got places we need to be. Where's the money? It's on the table, brown envelope. Actually, I prefer uh, Resperate or uh, in pace or whatever it is. Uh, rest in peace. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? It was a real pleasure meeting you. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy. Oh, just now. Nah. I don't want to miss those types of scenes, but I clicked it while there was nothing going on, so I'll try to make sure uh risk we caught. I can never pronounce that right. Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. I don't believe it. You can never say that right. No, this bowl's out from under the bar. Wequiescat in Pachi. His own. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She has gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. From time to time. People have to line up to buy their daily goddamn bread. It's just don't forget, guys, if you yeah, want to support the channel, to keep the channel going much fun right now. as long as possible. Make sure you leave a like, comment below, Once we were putting a squeeze on leave a tip. Over and All that goes directly back into the channel so we can keep doing what we love to do. Use the stream elements link in the description. That is always the best way to do it. Right now, we've got our goal of getting to a thousand, which is going to take a long time, obviously. But it's so that we can get a new monitor, which is really, really needed. Here he comes. 
He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shove coming? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Alright, so this one is actually quite a long ways away, as you can see. Goes all the way over to there. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kinda not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. <laughs> nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. That's pretty funny. I want to make sure I get those little moments there, you know? Yeah, there's a bunch at the motel. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Wait for out of us here, the safest Tom. place for deals. We'll be back in a bit. Safest place okay. for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. This is going to be the first mission where we actually get into some gunplay, so it's possible we die. I remember this being very tricky. If you actually, if you do, if you do this, the cinema takedown on the guy behind the bar, it's very easy to die quickly. I, I took one. Jesus Christ, Polly. Tell Salieri from here on out, this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of it. I gotta get you to a doctor. I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. All right. So first things first, you don't have actual stealth in the game as far as you being able to crouch. It'll automatically do that. Oh, yeah, you do. Never mind. Totally forgot you do. <laughs> so get over here as quickly as possible. There's this guy right here. You can see it can be very easy to miss some of these. Got a new detective. And you don't have to pick them up a second time, just so you guys know. You only have to pick them up once. What did I say? Pick up knife? Now you can see where everything has showed up on the map. So come outside. There 
Here we go. There's a Gangster Monthly. Another trophy. He can hear somebody farting in the bathroom. Looks like that's it. So some rooms are going to have different weapons in there. So why don't we go in here and grab one? I believe there's a weapon in here. Or it's in one of these. I don't remember which one. Not in there. In here. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, there it is. Yeah. I always check every room just to be safe. Now, if you open this door, there's a guy taking a poo-poo in there. Gotta get it checked out, I guess. It's disrespectful to take somebody out when they're on the john. That's that's just it's too bad. So we're not gonna do that. Mystery fox is there. Where's the mystery fox? On North Balcony, thank you. I have never known the mystery fox to be there. There it is right there, actually. You're a 50? Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Guys, I'm going to need your help. I, hate these guys. I can't believe there's 50 of them. What nonsense. Thank God you guys reminded me before I, head down, I headed downstairs. Okay, so wait here. There's usually always a guy that's going to be coming towards you. Kind of hear him. So just get ready to spam circle. And you can do a... Um, kill here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there's the, this is how you pick up um, that. What's in here? I've actually never looked in here. All right, there's nothing. Um, so this can go one of two ways. It can be really stealthy or... We don't want to walk, not yet. Oh, if beating on their guy's gonna stop that? They wrecked our motors. You can't let that kind of shit slide. All right. So the thing about this is we can get in here, get right up on this guy. We can stealth him. Here's the problem. If you do that... You're literally going to get shot and killed probably really quick, but I'm going to do it anyways. So much for the guns. I'm moving up this side. Almost got you. Come on, to use that thing. Also. That's Mr. Bathroom guy. One shot left. Before they shoot me. Wait for him. Oh, dang it. It's all about the pop shots. That's what you got to work with here. It's 
so easy to die there. I'm not even kidding you. I'm just really happy I didn't die. Like, I'm not even going to risk this. I'm going to actually health up. Because it's they, they, they come up on you so fast when you do the takedown that if you just shoot them... Look, it took three shotgun blasts, like, from that range, so... Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Yes, don't reload. I gotta remember that. That's tough. You're all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Let's go get the money! We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the place is to get you the most. Well, look, see the audio glitch? Twice. These guys aren't even in the car with me right now. Lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far. Sure, they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's Motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. I mean, they weren't even in the car with me. All you just gotta do is just keep shooting. You use, um, L L1 to shoot. Like a glove. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. There you go. Gangs of Lost Heaven. Like, you're going to see some audio glitches big time. I just hope we don't get the one audio glitch where the sound becomes so loud and it screws up the sound and you have to restart the entire game. That happens in the chapter of um, when you're in the barn. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street... Taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, Time for breakfast. Kids. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. This is a good cutscene. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You can with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! 
Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grizzle bent up his all. I mean, I got a cousin again. <laughs> <laughs> The cutscenes are just so freaking good. I just love it. I just love, love it. I like it a lot. Uh, so well, hopefully I'll be able to help you with the race. I'll give you guys some tips and pointers. Says the race. Made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head okay. Hey Paul, how are you doing, bud? I'm Don Square. Maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Doing good. Hopefully you're doing Morello well. Well, not being able to think straight when he was mad. You uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. That's right, man. See, mafia times, man, they were different in the early 1900s. I mean, I mean, if you had protection from the cops, you could do anything. There's always, listen, in every generation, there's corruption. So, you know, you see corruption today. It's no different than the corruption that it was back in the 20s and 30s. Tommy. So don't for getting down here so harp quick. on yourself because yeah, of all the destruction boss. that's going need, on in the world. You know, there's a race coming. This is just how the world has yeah, always yeah, yeah. been. And Sam One way or another. And uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too. All smart right. So, well. where are the collectibles in this ago, Mike chapter? Comes to me asking for a loan. Wants to get new tires so he can keep. And also, is there a fox in this chapter? I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, Bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments to bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. So both of these are at the... Drink here? The Lost Heaven Autodrome or whatever? Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. <laughs> he likes to make sure I have something to drink when I win. All right, I'm going to check upstairs, too. It looks like we have another newspaper here. Race approaches. Race day approaches. The grandest day in the sporting calendar is almost upon us. Record crowds are expected to descend upon the Lost Heaven Autodrome this weekend as the city basks in glorious sunshine. 
famous German driver Martin Lichtenberg is taking some time away from the International Series to challenge Lost Heaven's hero Mikey Dune. And racing fans are on tenterhooks. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. For you, maybe. But those broads, not so much. Help you, Tom? Nah, just looking around. I saw you talking to the Don. So you know what to do. He didn't say, go look around. Tom, you spoke to the Don, so now do as he asks. Yeah, I'm just looking around. I'm going to look around every place I can. Once I get close to an area where a collectible is, that's when I want to make sure you, you tell me and let me know. Let me see if I can pick up this one yet. Yep, yeah, we can. So we can already get this one. Again, you can also get this during free roam. Cigarette card. Phyllis Papone. The gang. Uh oh, Vin Diesel just like went. Huh? Someone did someone call me? Okay, so one of the cool things about this little location inside here, this is where you can change your outfit. Um, right here in this thing right here, but it's not available yet. But you'll be able to change outfits um, for different things once that becomes available. I've always wanted to work for radio and stuff like that. Wanna say the town. Is there a uh, fox in this mission or no? Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? Uh, no, no, sir. Gotta send him a, a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t t t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is a Sutter guy, L L Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Gi Gi Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy He's an ass. He's an ash. All right, this is the dawn before hey, if the racing storm. Keep your mama motors safe where no one can take them. Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. All right, so remember we have to collect 30 cars. We have a total of four right now. We've got the bolts here. So one thing I wanted to notice is that when you go in over to here again, there's a specific trophy for going 50 miles an hour. I'm trying to find it. And uh, let's see. The Bolt Ace reached 50 miles per hour while driving the Bolt Ace. So I think this is the Bolt Ace. It says Bolt. Uh, we can change the exterior color. Let me give it a white look. We can change the interior color. And switch the variant. Now 
Remember when there's cops, you gotta stay under... ...under the thing. See, we can skip this drive if we want. Oh, the model is V8, so this is not the- this is not the correct one. Uh, so, are, is it the race car is the one that we have to do 50 miles an hour, or what? No. Well, that was nice. All right. Meet with the guard at the racetrack. So, we're actually going to drive the whole way there for a specific reason. Because we need to get to learn these streets here. Because we're gonna have to drive the Bolt Ace. So, when I take the Bolt Ace to the guy... There's a timer. Where are the collectibles that I pick up? Are they actually at the race place? So here's the race place. After the race. Oh, you're so the collectibles are after the race. Oh, I know, I know about those. You Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Some before, some after? My friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. I know about the two that are after the race. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Just make sure you tell me before I get there. Name a better place to pick up a Dane than this place. Because this next objective is really hard. Started. Things I've seen. Is it here? Is this where I need to do it? The garage? Do I need to pick up any collectibles here in the garage? Okay, this is it. Collectibles are right now. Is that a fox I hear? Is there any collectibles over in this these areas here? I do know there's one over there. There's that one, cigarette card. Luigi? Alright, there should be another one. Now, you can get these after the race, too. Just so you guys know. This is the same location you're going to be in after the race. And I think the last one's all the way over here. You can get these literally after the race. So you don't have to do it. Oh, see? Yeah. So we can't grab that one just yet. We have to, we'll wait till after the race to get that one. Here she is. Now, this is the Bolt Ace, right? 1929 Carazella CC. Or no. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are going to ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? All right, here we go. This is tough. Back from Barton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Here we go. Now, which car is this? Is this the Bolt Ace that I need to go? we got to be careful here. Um, I prefer to do this in... First person? All the fast cars I want to drive in first person. The way back is very, very tough, yeah. But you only need to make it to the front on the way back. Make sure you don't go the way the game tells you. When you get up here, you'll see what I mean. Do not 
not go left, go right. Or straight. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Batoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Yeah, remember, this is mission number five, guys. All right, this next part is super tough. Thanks, Lucas. This one might take us a little time. I gotta get back before anyone Because if you go too fast... Go easy, Witter. The car too will... Uh, misbehave. It's gonna misbehave. <laughs> hey, tell Mr. Salieri. I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people. But I always know where I stand with you guys. Oh, I already missed the bolt ace one. Okay. Get away. Dang it. Anything for the right... I'm gonna have to find the bolt ace again. Stop Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. My bad. I gotta be. I gotta be more cognizant, cognitive of of the missions I'm on and what trophies I can get. All right, we gotta be super quick. This is one of the hardest things to do. Don't be afraid to go fast, but you will need to slow down. Like here, just put the pedal to the metal, let it get all the way up. You see how it, it drives for me? It'll move left and right on me, so you have to constantly mess with it. It's going to be very, very close, just so you guys know. It always is very close. At least for me. Ah! Dang it. It goes, it, 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 it moves on its own. That's what makes this tough. No! That might have just screwed us up right there, honestly. Shit, I don't know which way I'm going. Uh, straight, and then take the next left after this one. Pursuit arrest. Bring him in. I think it's wise. Sounds like we lost the guy in Chinatown. Keep looking. You just have to get to the beginning here. Come on, first time go at this station. Yes! Woo! Eight seconds, seven seconds to spare. Woo! Just made it. I can't tell you, like, that's really tough, guys. That's really tough. Especially to get it on the first time. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Thank Christ. Good to go. 
Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. Oh. This one is the one that's gonna, we're probably gonna repeat a few times. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. That's awesome, Sean. My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, we've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah. It's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Hey, Craig. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah. I will give it my best that. shot, guys. It might take anyway, a few times. We might be here for an hour, for two hours. Wait, what? Frank, um, um, you just got to get some good RNG luck. You know what I mean? So this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Get ready. I will give it my best shot. From Europe, we got the hot shot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. Make sure you're, uh, uh, you got the pedal on the, the gas when you start. They're off. The trick here is to try not to get too deep into the pack in the beginning here. Shit! Who's going to survive the lost heaven? What? Some of these well, that didn't take long. Yeah. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> First time is a no-go at this station. It's it's so easy. It's so easy because you get hit. They'll hit you and they'll take you right off. If you fail right there, if, you, if you're not in at least a good position right there, it's done. Don't even start. You will not catch up. That's one of the biggest tips I can give you guys is at the very beginning... If you fail something, if you're not if you're not doing it perfectly at the very beginning, restart. They're ready to start. The clock rolls away, but there were some worried faces from the mechanics in the pit lane. This is where you can gain a lot right here on this turn. In the next turn, this is where you gain all of your momentum on these two turns here. There's also another one up ahead a little bit more. You son of a bitch! But this is really good. This is really good. Ah, oh, crap! Hey, folks, we have doctors nearby if there's any injuries. All right, this is a very, very good position to be in right now. You're going to you're going to get some better places coming up ahead. The hardest section in this entire course is right up ahead. It's this it's this little turn right here. You've got to hit it at the right corner or you're screwed. Here we go. That'll work. Good position, good position. With Lichtenberg no longer a contender, the front three are jostling for position. All right, we're making really, really good time right now. We're in very, very good position. Taylor, Anderson, Angelo, all still in the mix with time still left to go. 
you're gonna lose you're gonna be able to gain more positions coming up ahead in those two turns I told you about you should be able to at least get to second place by those two turns Good. The we might be able to I might be able to get both positions on this turn here. Maybe at least one. Close. One of these guys is gonna fail, but the top guy he will never fail. He's always gonna be perfect. Are these the final podium places, or is it someone else's time to shine? This guy's gonna fail here, so you gotta be careful. Sometimes he can make it though. Perfect. Yeah, oh, we got it. Yes, okay. Tommy Angelo takes the lead. Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. Alright, we got a good lead. All we got to do is not mess up, and we got it. They will catch up. They are faster than us. We can just only get them on the turns. All we got to worry about is that last turn that's a really, really doozy. The one where you got to hit the right angle or you're screwed. Okay, as soon as I get to the top of the hill, I take a tiny break here. Then I start slowly accelerating here. I'm going to slow down a little bit here, so I hit this at the right angle, which is right here. Perfect. It's a tight pack as they fight for first. Notice how they all made that turn. All right, they're catching up. They're catching up. So this is where we got to start bringing it back in. All right, he's catching up. Angelo is still out in front. Can he hold on? Whatever you do, don't let him catch up. We did it. We did it, we did it, we did it, yes! There we go. First time go, technic well, not technically, but I mean, hey, I'll take it, I'll take it. Boom. Hardest part in the game, by none, done. I get a like for that come on maybe some support come on let's go <laughs> hey Woo. tommy there's <laughs> our winner hey tom just want to thank you for leanne thank you tip. so much for the tip i had six months rent right now leanne place. coming in with the tip I'm heck yeah you. i just did what the you're done getting done our goal up there nice thank well, you you gotta let me find 115 to now take. stop by my garage when you get a chance I might have a line on something that'll Thank you so much, for you. Leanne. Burn rubber. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thank you, Marcus. Thanks, boss. Up, boys? You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Huh? Nah. Trust me, I know how hard that yeah, race can be. <laughs> Good boy. Go you've got to just, drink. you've got to let, you've got to let the AI make their mistakes. Don't get too aggressive. Nah, I just got lucky. The AI will no, take themselves out a lot. Guys, so, drinks are on you. There are two places you can gain 
momentum on. And that is those two places I told you. Once you're done with the first big turn, right there you can gain yeah. on a lot, right? On that yeah, first turn. The and the second long yeah. turn around, you can gain a lot there too. Those are your two best places. Also, when you get to the part with the middle, stay in the middle. Yeah. Don't veer too much to the right or left and go slow over that bump and you should be good. Grifter, thank you so much, man. Grifter with the uh, 15, uh, 15. Holly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. Right, so there's a lot of people we can talk to. We're gonna go ahead and do that. You don't have to do this, but for the sake of those that are watching this for the first time, I want you to get the story. You're a natural wheel, man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> Gritzer with the tip, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been tipping a lot lately, so I do appreciate it. Sleeping on the job, eh? Mama made that work easy to Tommy. When they starts to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Paulie? No, oh, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. Nobody actually has shadows in the sun. It's kind of weird, yeah. That we in the just put my daughter through another year of school. Race, no. Hey, anything for the Galettis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this summer. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. This is where you can pick up that collectible. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all race goers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is It is kind of weird how nobody has shadows. I mean, this game is so this detailed. Last but I heard the motor literally, the no, no shadows. I just noticed that. Wow. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a fight. Yeah, I know about it, Gritzer. We made it. You seen Bali any place? Came okay, by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Here's the one I told you about. You can pick it up here. Another detective comic. The shadows are afraid of mafia, of the mafia. That's true. The shadows are afraid. They don't want to get beat up. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. There would be music here, but obviously we turned the music off. I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy is going to send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. All right, so there's a secret hidden um, trophy that you can find here. But you have to do what Polly says. You can easily miss it, too. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you got to go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you got to go home, too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. It doesn't show you where it is on the map. You have to essentially just kind of know where it is. He does give you uh, descriptions, though. So, it's not like it's something that, that you can easily miss, but... You've got to make sure that you listen to Polly. He did really. 
real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a... some kind of race car driver. We all got our... You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call. To this game came out in 2020. Mines race and done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it, just like you. You're like me. You can't just shut it down, blank it out like Sam does. Go home to <laughs> whoever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, so notice where we are. We do not want to keep going straight. What you're going to do is you're going to make a right here. Once you get close, he'll say something. I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take it. Okay, that is just ridiculous. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a tiny uh, right here and then head all the way down. Service in the works quarter. Right towards the cop. We need to see you. Oh, Pursue arrest. Bring him in. All right, stop right where you are. All right, so what you're going to want to do now is just head uh, straight down. What was I saying? What was I saying? I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. All right. Again, we're going to make a left here. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right. Now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Bali. All right, so we're going to go across this bridge. You're going to have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. Oh, it's there's a blue sign. I don't need more than that. There's a blue sign, and it says Blue Tropics, and it's right near the docks. <sighs> So you got your clues. It's near the docks, and right here is the docks, so make a right. Figures. Check a map or something. Yep. Okay, it's down some alley right near here. It's like this dark, narrow street. The ladies are on the corner, and there's a... All right. So now you're going to look, and you're going to see you've come to this point here. What you're going to do is you're going to make a left, and then another left, and it's going to be right here. Blue sign. Yeah, it's a blue sign at the end of the street. It says Blue Tropics. Looks like a game. <laughs> That's it. That's the place. See? A blue sign. Thank Christ. Girls, it's me, Polly. There you go. Not classy. And that is how you get that specific trophy. And now we have reached um, 10. Ah, jeez. Sweet dreams, tough guy. And we got another one. Neighborhood Hero. Alright. So go ahead and start telling me where the next collectibles is, or even possibly a fox. Because this is chapter... 7, I believe. Sarah. Or this might be chapter six. 
Yeah, that's the gold thumb. I actually don't know. Is this seven or six? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, uh, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Okay, no, there's nothing uh, in this one. The way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> She's, uh, is there a fox tough. here, though? Let me know if there's a fox. This is a pack of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, Cativera guys. That's a fake background, just so you guys know. That's not a real TV. I wish. That'd be Sir, awesome. If my room looked like that, that'd be awesome. Mind. Well, maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you're working at home, this is a reminder this punk she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. Benny. Sarah, the time is a close. Love of our lives. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. No collectibles in Sarah. Okay. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. I'm not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hmm. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. It's the fake background is not why she snuck. She was able to sneak up on me. It's the fact that I'm looking in an opposite direction and I have headphones on. That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this, this has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Hey, Jin, getting your swole on again, huh? Awesome. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. I mean, this looks... If you took a picture of this, it, it looks photorealistic. I think pretty close. Well... A lot of hungry people on Look, she has a shadow, and I have a shadow. So I guess it's only in that one mission there's no shadows. It's, uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Nice night for a walk, eh? Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Yeah, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. 
Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If you did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Uh, so now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm gonna challenge myself to not take any damage during this. Mm. Let's see if I can do it. Where you going there, sweet cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> You're some kind of dish, ain't ya? Get away from me! Just like you's wasting on that dish. Those pins go all the way up, huh? You even touched me! You're wasting your time. I'm not the kind of game you mess with, pal. We're just gonna stay in here and have fun? Oh my god, because of the stupid... That was stupid. That was just stupid. I should not have taken any damage there. That was my fault. He just stopped hitting me, so I just stopped expecting anything. Get away from me! Get away! What? No, I won't! Oh my god. Thank you later. Tommy! The fighting system is super, super simple and basic. It's just like... It's, it's literally just like... Um, just like Batman. You just, you dodge there, and then you hit. Just hit him a few times, don't go too... Don't do too much. That's what I got, you son of a bitch. You got a good right hook, I'll give you Challenge that. Challenge failed, I know. <laughs> You're bleeding. Come up to my place. It's because he just stopped okay, hitting me all of a sudden. So I was like, this is hilarious. And yeah, so I blame the game on that one. Otherwise, it's, there's no way you're going to take any damage there. It's too easy. Well, you're going to come in and take a load off or what? That depends on your definition of taking a load off. I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. I'm sorry. That was too much. Kids shouldn't be watching this anyways. This is a I'm rated M game. You up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Again, I'm gonna talk a little bit just because I'm not sure about that music. Doesn't look and too this bad. is what supports my family, so you need I gotta try to, to at least... No, I'm fine. I just don't know if it's gonna be copyrighted or not. Do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. It's my kind of lady. The 
the next another. mission is a doozy. If I remember. All right. You're going to grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Sean, with the yee-haw, man. Yee-haw. into the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the We're scar. We're almost one fifth right? of the way to our goal, guys. So thank you so much. A lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood. Pie Thank you for helping us get to 100 likes, everybody. Can we break 200? Let's see some motivation on the channel. Let's see us break 200 likes on this extra live stream. No. And it heats out. Yes, up though. I actually think this is such just a great story, you know? All right, so there we go. Our next trophy, we are now at 12. We're moving right along. We haven't actually died yet in this game. So I say that now and we're gonna die very soon. So just wanna let you guys know. This can't stand. But Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's going to pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their That's like 200 so bones, bad, dude. Even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holding. Some of us already look like that. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. These, these punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? But that guy's calling after Sarah in the street. Oh, he's driving his own car. Oh, we gotta talk to Vincenzo. Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Thanks, Gritz. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh, autographed by Babe Roof himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but. They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. No, they won't. Thanks, Vinny. I love the sounds of the game, too, dude. The way they make those bats sound real. So, 
if you notice, you can go back in here, and I think there's a ammo thing here. If you needed to pick up some ammo or something like that, but Break some bones down. every mission is like its own its own mission. So therefore, like I said, there's no actual like open world when it comes to the story. Open world, you actually have to go out of the story mode, get on the main menu, then you can go in the open world. So, we still only have four vehicles. We haven't even started. There's the Bolt Ace. Alright, let's do exterior color. Let's, um... Oh, we got no pink. I wanted pink. Let's do it there, interior. You can switch the variant. Alright, so we need to get 50 miles an hour in this. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it here. Obviously, we can go ahead and skip the drive. But this is the Bolt Ace. You see how slow it goes? So, I don't know if I can actually get this thing up to 50 miles an hour. You need a very, very long stretch of highway to do that. See, if we were able to keep going, then maybe I would have been able to get it there. But you, there's not enough driving in this to do it. There's a cop there, and I don't want to break the law, so we'll go this way. Yeah, you want to do it over the bridge. Maybe we'll just do it in free room. About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Nah, he got yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom? You always soft with the games. Alright, so I guess the first collectible is going to be here in Biff's shop in the back area. Biff, you fat bastard. If only we could push it to 50. <laughs> Dogface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. I mean, look at how good he looks. Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. You hear that? You hear that sound issues there? Hey, Paulie, uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. Alright, so you see that there's one right here? Alright, that's number four. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Class ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. I don't know about this. It, it runs really good for 30 frames. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. Gangster? Man, it feels good to be a gangster.
Now these, I believe, are just on the side of the road. They're not story related. You can pick them up in free room, but we're picking them up now. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. Do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. See, there's one right inside here. But we'll get in there later. Telling you the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Help me over here. Right, get Found here. you. Get him, One more. Found you, lady. <laughs> Got him. Come here. Where the lady? <laughs> You're not tough. I guess we'll just dodge most of them. Oh, come on, I hit the button. One more. <laughs> We gotta teach these punks a lesson. Climb over. Don't let them get Billy. Get your ass behind something. Something to her coming out of our side. You're gonna die here. You know that? Get your ass He made it serious. You think I need talent? I go north. You go south. What? I go up. You go through there. Uh, okay. <laughs> We got another science. Hello. Madonna before you knew her. Well, obviously you notice difference in frames, but I can definitely tell you that this is smooth as hell. Move up his side. Into the line. <laughs> Got him? Nice! Look at him, he actually did something! Clear a path to Billy, Tom! We get to that pump for all the other pumps! Take them down! So... I think we're good. Now, you see the Molotov symbol there? I've actually never been able to find them. I don't know where they actually are. You can't get over there, see? So it's like either it glitches out or something. the ones that are actually inside. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's pick up the shotgun. Alright. Yeah. 
You've got to get out of the way for these. It's very easy. Very easy to get hit with those. Really take our time, just so you guys know. Do not rush, because it's so easy to die. Stick your head out. Taking cover. Right. They're actually pretty smart, so. Let's get the next cigarette card. Blue. I think that's it, right? Is that it? I feel like that's it as far as uh, collectibles go. I don't see anything else here. Did Mafia 2, Mafia 3, and um, and Mafia Definitive Edition. They didn't do the original Mafia, I don't think. Could be wrong. Though. Come on, we can't lose them. Reloading. You're not meant to actually catch up to them, just so you know. So don't th don't threat too much. You know, um, it's gonna happen. It's scripted, so just try to keep them as close as you can. I got this. It's also very hard. Very hard to turn in this car. Gotta reload. Just keep them close. know this stuff because I played this game enough. I mean, when you beat this game on Classic, it's hard not to forget a lot of things. Because beating it on Classic is not easy. Is quick. If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. That's why this is a 6 out of 10 on PSN Profiles ranking as far as uh, how tough it is. Because Classic Mode is a killer. I know there are instances where I make this look easy. I can assure you, it is not. Most people will agree with me. These guys are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? Driving in the rain is very tough. Always brake before you think you need to brake. Take it slow into every corner. This is where he's gonna wreck. Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Oh, they did the first game. They changed their oh, name not. to 2K Check. Oh, okay. Maybe they did the first game too. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. 
for This is how you know Tommy is a good guy. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Yes, I'm out. This one's finished too. Now remember, he did just put a slug into his chest. And he didn't move. Keep that in mind. <sighs> yes, Green Team makes a very good point. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this before, but oh, I only Christ. see out of my left eye, which makes it even tougher Snap for out me. Of it. So this this game is actually being played on classic what eye mode to to Sarah? for me. Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? There you go. Another trophy. Gotta get used to it. <laughs> Excuse me. Saints in the center. Is this Simple chapter street. eight? Oh. I can't afford this life no more. There's a lot of things Keep in this lucky. chapter. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. Where's the next fox? Come on in, boss. We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the court in this office sent this over. Corpse hey, Ricky. Name. Good morning. Is Gio Lotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but... He was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. One-eyed Jack? Okay. <laughs> Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam? You're going to attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's going to need a little distraction if he's going to clean up your mess. He's sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, Sam and I. The owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us. He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom. We can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. 
Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. All right, I keep having to adjust my mic here because my back hurts. I don't get it. You think we made a mistake? Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. He's got a lot to prove. That's for sure. I have faith in him. Let's see what the day brings. I like how you can still hear their conversations. You ever notice how every time we do a mission, it always starts with talking to Vincenzo? I think I did a stream on the original Mafia. If you go to my channel and type in Mafia, I'm pretty sure I played the original Mafia a little bit. So you guys can check that out too. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. I love the uh, the banter between everybody. I mean, they the dialogue is done really, really well. Um, I haven't uh, chosen a standing desk yet. Um, there's a bunch of them that I've been looking at. The one that I actually want, I can't afford. The one that I think is the best standing desk that I've seen is... Um, uh, is the Magnus Pro. It's the Secret Labs Magnus Pro XL. I need a long desk because I have, I'm gonna have, you know, like, multiple things on the desk at once. When you're a content creator, you gotta have space for your sound design and space for everything that you have when you're creating. Sorry. I just literally hit a cop and he didn't actually do anything, so we got lucky there. Um, yeah, the Magnus Pro XL. It's like a really big desk. It also has good cable management, and it's a good quality desk, but, and here's the big but, it's $1,000, so, I just can't believe how expensive things have gotten. You can get really cheap standing desks, too, but they're not going to last you, that's the problem. You need stuff that actually lasts. It should be, when you buy a desk like that, it should be the last thing you have to purchase, as far as a desk goes. Behave yourself in here, okay? They're very pricey, but they're made you know I very sturdy. Manager. I just watched the door, pal. Hey, handsome. You here for a girl? Drinks or a mix of the two? A lot of collectibles to get in this place. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. Come through when you're ready. You get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ugh, fine. You know the rules, Dottie. I'm gonna help you? I need to talk with the manager. You with our new associates. He's in the lounge. Head through the bar. Can't miss it. Something else? Is Michelle in today? Let me check. She's How in, you doing? she's busy. Well then. 
that was interesting. Downtown 1702. Truth. I can't come in. Johnny's sick. He don't care. He wants you here. I need to take him to a doctor. Is he dying? No, I don't think... Then it don't matter. You need to come in. Leave him with the lady next door if you need to. I can't do that. You're his best girl, and he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys... Yes, this is the remake. From. It don't matter how sick your kid is, you gotta come in and work. Listen, you want to go back to the rest of the girls on the corner of Six and Maple? Then be my guest. You told me what it was like. Fur coat and flashing the car's look when there's snow at your feet and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold. I'm doing you a favor. Your kid'll get better. But you're working on the street again, you'll see him worse. Leave him with your neighbor. Get here quick and pray to God he don't notice you late. I'll cover for you, but I can only do it for so long. I'll leave it to you. Bye. <coughs> Yeah. That's for phasing through reality. Dime detective. Where are the sticky bandits? Or maybe these are the wet bandits. Because they're in the shower. Where are the sticky wet bandits? This tells you, Michelle, room 208 all day. Now we know where Michelle is. So we're going to go through each room because this is a very thorough playthrough. Some rooms are going to have stuff in it, some rooms are not. You can see that there's some health items there. Let's just keep moving. Nothing to see there. Get out now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for breaking your door down. One oh eight. Nothing in here. Also, this is good for you to know where the um, uh, where the medical stuff is because you're gonna have to um, you know go through a firefight later on. You treat women like this. You treat your mother like this. No, please. <laughs> oh, we I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Also tells you right there. So there's more than one way to know. One oh five looks like see we got close. So now we know that there is a collectible right here. Here we go, detective or cigarette cards. Leo Galante. You guys might know Leo Galante from Mafia 2. He's one of the main guys you deal with in that game. You know a girl named Michelle? Never heard of her. Girls are all downstairs. Alright, now let's move on to the next floor. Love the way he opens that. It's hilarious. Alright, so we know we don't need to go in there, we know that there's a health thing there, um, and you can see 
Hey! What what are you what are you doing? This place ain't for you. Hey! Come here. <laughs> Don't forget to flush. Gangsters Monthly. Sarah. Mall on a mission. Yeah, so try to memorize, you know, where these uh, health things are, because that's what, that's what you're going to need. Like I said, not every room has stuff in it, but... You, Michelle? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I will never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in a head. Do you understand? It's so good, right? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. You can tell when a when a game has good production quality. So this kind of makes you really hate the manager. So if you read that, you're really going to be like wanting to kill the manager. You can tell the kind of person he is. Alright, I don't believe there's really anything else... But I'm doing this because if we need to cover, like if we need to find cover on anything in particular, then having these doors open helps. I want to get that bed fixed. going on here don't forget to put it away by holstering your weapon last but not least nothing in here All right. Now, if you, I know what I'm doing. I could have made this end super quick, but I'm just kind of showing you guys the whole process. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Feel free to approach the girls if they don't approach first. Difficult choice to make, huh? A drink while you take in the sights. Difficult choice to make, huh? I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like, and don't make a fuss. Another way that you can find out where Michelle is, I believe, is her. Something on your mind? Or maybe because we already did Michelle, it won't do it, I don't know. Darling, I'm not here for questions. Yeah, it must be that, it must be that reason. Because she can usually tell you where uh, Michelle is. 
All right, so this is where your main target is. Between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. Good conversation. This is your target. He's the manager. If you want a girl, head back to the bar. They'll come over and uh, keep you entertained. Now we could we could go after him right there if we wanted to. But if you come back over here, we can do some more stealth and infiltrate. these new guys getting the run of the place and a manager having to play nice with his new friends how come that's when your new friends turn up with tommy guns that's what you do send me here serious trouble <laughs> what does he know about serious trouble huh Okay, so we are totally good and we're ready to do this. Once we do this, um, essentially, that's game over. Not game over, but that's when all the action starts. So this guy sometimes doesn't go down in one shot, even with this weapon. See? Even though that makes no sense. Take your time. You're in no rush. All right, I'm just kind of waiting for him to pop his head up. Grabbing cover. Come on, get him. Get him. Always do the pop up and pop down, okay? Always do that. Get tore up. Got to reload. See, these guys are smart too. They do Okay, as you can see, we don't have quite the angle to get this next guy. So I'm thinking we're going to have to go ahead and gotcha. move out. Move up the side! I can't shake him off! Okay, doing good. You gonna come back? I don't, th I don't think he's decided not to. It looks like he's moving up. Okay. So we need to deal with um, guys that are still in here. Still one more guy over here. You want to take this slow, guys. You do not want to just rush this. I know this looks really ridiculous. This guy's not even... I mean, sure. 
You could do that, dude. That helps us a lot. Okay, so I think we're good as far as everyone that's out here. Only got four shots left, so now it's time to head upstairs. I don't know where this guy is. Other guys get all the best jobs. Sick of being out of here. Other guys get sent to guard the cat house. And I get here. Get a better shot! Go! He's on me! Jeez, come on. See how, see how see how hard it is? They take so many shots, it's ridiculous. Alright, this next guy is up there. Is he gonna come downstairs? What's he doing? Alright, so it's not gonna let us shoot him from here. Save that for now. I know there's a health right here. All right, so we can move up. To grab the shotgun, but I do. Okay, I don't think there's any. No, we already picked up the ammunition, so there's no more in there. Might have to pick up the shotgun because I'm not seeing. So we'll pick up the shotgun then. Again, there should be another um, health right here if you need it. All right, so we're going to move up. Taking cover. Get a better shot. Another health right here. Move very slow, guys. Do not rush. I can't stress that enough. You're going to die just so freaking quick if you decide to rush. The worst decision you could ever make. All right, let's get in here. Hurry up. It's a little hard to see here. I can see him kind of moving across there. There's two of them there.
Uh. Okay, go. Alright. Should be one more there. I don't think we killed the other guy yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in here. There we go. Good. This gives me a little bit of an opportunity here. All right. Sometimes we'll get closer. It's probably better to let them get a little closer because I don't know how much damage I can really do from here. Alright. Next up, we got these guys here. You know there's two. Gotta reload. Damn, I can't get him. Wow, still not even hitting him. All right, we got a guy with a shot. I can't tell if that's a shotgun or what. He's right on me. All right, good. At this point, you don't want the shotgun anymore. Swap for the Tommy gun. That's going to be your... Uh, the best weapon you can get. I don't want to reload, because if you reload... Remember? And you lose... You lose the 10 rounds that are in there currently, so... I think we're good. We got a decent amount of health still left, which is what you're going to need for this next section. Um, it doesn't look like there's any... Not what it looks like going on in here? Okay. Is this Agent 47's friend? We're gonna leave him be. We can- you can obviously take him out if you want, but no, that's not us. Although that would be hilarious. Alright, we got a few notes to pick up here. Letter to Morelli. Um, some money. It does. That's why I said it looks like the clown from Hitman Blood Money. Um, another, is there a collectible in this room or no? If there is, I don't see any collectibles in this room. Because they would show up if there was one in here. Because once you do this, then it's going to complete the mission. Um, I don't see any. Last one in the uh, hotel, the last. Okay, so I think we're good. You have to take your time, guys. I could easily be rushing, but then you'd be seeing me restarting checkpoints over and over again. At least this way, we're going through it nice and smooth, like. This is tricky here. You've got three guys, I believe, that are going to shoot you from behind. So you've got to take them out first. So here, get up against here. Corleone Hotel. All right. 
just go out a little bit to where I guess you can see their head. There he is. One down. All right. Second's gonna be right there, but he won't actually. He won't actually pop up. See. Can't. Oh. Oh, almost had it. It's so close. Oh, come on. Stick your head up. Thank you. Got him. Okay. There's a second one. Or there's a third one, I guess. So get up against this cover immediately, because he doesn't come out until, until that happens. See? It's so ridiculous. There we go. Alright. Alright. First section done. We're not going to get a health thing again. That's why this is so hard. Suspect is escaping over the rooftops. Get him before he's back on street level. I don't think there's any guys right here. Okay, nothing. All right, so we, we do have a health right here. That's good. Got him. I want everyone we got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down. Bringing him down. Shit. Okay. Probably better to to do this from in here. I think there's a room I can go into. So we got a guy all the way over there, as you can see. We don't really have a weapon that's good enough, I think. There's one. These guys are far away. Oh my god, he got me from there? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, action, there we go. So we got a guy there. Where's the second guy at? I see him. Gotcha. Hey, this guy is right here. Nice. Okay. Now you want as much health as possible because the church section is really, really tough. You gotta watch out here. Save the bolt action. So he's gonna be coming right around this. He's right around this corner. There's two of them. There's actually three of them. You can kind of see his head right there. Move up on him. But I don't think. I love it when they just do that. All right, so there's another one like right around this corner. Oh, almost missed. Woo. We're doing it. We're doing it.
Okay, so far so good. Let's grab this right here. Oh, I think it's down one more. Yeah, okay. Hold on, where is this thing? Oh, I see. All right, here we go. All right. Another dime. It's so easy to 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 die in this mission, guys. I'm I'm very impressed with myself for actually not dying yet, <laughs> to be honest. All right, we need to use the ladder. We got two in the church, okay. I don't think there's anything, any health. No, there is a health actually, before we get to the chase scene. Oh, there's one right here. There we go. Nice. We're coming in this at full health. If we can leave this section at full health, that'd be great too, because the car chase scene is really tough. We can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh, I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy. <laughs> This one was Billy and Bob. Over here! He's over here! I'm flicking steel! Gotta reload! Ah! Dang it, man, it's so hard. You're going out! Don't let him do it! No! I knew that was gonna happen. Dang it. They don't just automatically stop throwing what they're throwing, they can get shot like two or three times. Yeah! They can get shot like two or three times, and they're still they'll still throw it. Get him! There we go. Okay. Now we can grab this. Another dime. Reverend Strain. <laughs> All right, so if we move up here. Okay, got him. All right, cool. No one else down here, I believe, so we can go around and see what we can pick up. All right. Only got three shots of this left, though. Down there. Over here. I'm running for cover. My ass. Didn't hit anybody. Isn't that crazy? It just goes right above their head. 
Oh my god. That's not good. Oh no, I'm about dead. Ago. Come on. <laughs> I know he's right here. The sun makes it really hard for me to see. Got him. All right. We are so low on health right now. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. <coughs> Luckily, the checkpoint system isn't too bad. It looks like he didn't drop anything. His father was here. His mother! This is the way this city works! Get there! Up on the balcony! Anytime you hear that, you gotta go, you gotta go. Notice how they always fire in threes. You said there was a second one in the church. Where is the second one? I haven't seen a second one yet. Am I missing something? Done. Murder in the house of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. Consider this an act of you, baby. divine retribution. Thank you, Ella. Love you. That make us even. Hi. Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. There should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <sighs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. 
Must have been from out of town. Right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. All right. What did I just pick up? I don't even know. I didn't give it enough time to actually look. Frank. All right. Frank Vinci, Empire Bay. Got a new guy. Former Peruja around the church, boys. Don't there. let him out. I'm trying. Let's go. That's why you gotta get in super quick. Look, I'm already dead. Our first death was a bullshit death. That's what I was trying to say. It's so easy. Like, the game on 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 classic is no freaking joke. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. They followed me straight back out. Now I can We're get in the car down. quicker. The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. There he is. No way Former Perugia around the church, boys. Don't let him out. They got another friend in the hearse. Let's go. Are you they kidding? Have to have to run the sure. But we got cops everywhere. Dude, come on. I don't want to leave you. Dude, he's not getting in. He's not moving. Oh my god, dude. You're not- Get in! He's just standing there, like... Finally. Get in, get in. Hurry up before I die! Oh my god, I'm dead. die in the most stupidest places like Sam just stands there and just does doesn't move so we get two stupid deaths for like no reason whatsoever and don't say well shoot all the guys first no Sam's supposed to run out to the car immediately <laughs> where the hell were you as soon as I walked in the church the crew recognized me followed me straight back out where are they now? You don't have to shoot the cops. I'd like to limit myself from shooting as many cops as possible. That would be the idea. Maybe just wait here first with them. What are you kidding? It's got wheels, don't it? What's taking them so long? Alright, I'm going. Did you see him went flying? Escaping in our hearse. Did you see him go flying? Uh, Alright, let me look. So, straight until we can't go any more, then make a left. Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. Oh no. Cars reported him in North Park. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. <laughs> From here, uh, go straight. Let's see. There's a West River Tunnel. 
Um, all right, so go straight for just a little bit longer. Are they giving up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. Well, not every cop. This is not... Come on, Tommy! Lose him! I'm trying! I'm definitely trying. I think it's here. Yeah, we can go here and then make our way back. Yeah. All right, here, now we just needed to make a right and then stay straight on this road. Hey, that stopped him a little bit. That's good. At this point, we are going straight and then take the second. Well, we're going to have to lose them. Okay, good. All right, just don't get seen by any cops at this point. Sometimes you can catch a break and it can be way easier than that. So, it, I mean, it's all about RNG when it comes to these types of things. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. Okay. When you come that close to bite me. We lost them. Christ. Don't need to tell me Thank about Christ. that. You're the best you're lesson I me. could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. I don't know who I'm supposed to listen to. The first version? Or the second version of each character? Because there were there was like multiple versions of each character talking at the same time. Alright, Intermezzo. So was what was that, chapter eight? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tommy. Chapter 9 next. To a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch vessels, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. I recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. 
or take a dame to a show, or invest it for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but... I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard. And every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked... Well then. You're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy. You could run this town someday. Well... I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. such a good cutscene. All right, a trip to the country. So, this is a big one. This is also the one that you're going to die the day, most in. Everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the So, is all the collectibles in the in the um the area or is there any collectibles before we get to the area? Let me know. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. <laughs> sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, we got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician <coughs> on the take. Now, these storms just raging. Right, and we're driving out to the burbs to cap this guy. The street lights weren't so good, so we're driving in the dark. We get to the house, and we're about to make our move. And then there's this lightning flash. And for a split second, in the front yard, I see this head just sitting there, staring, cut off at the neck. Nah, this ain't true. Some other crew had already been out to the house that night. Yes, the guy had more than his share of enemies. They never found the body. Bullshit. <laughs> All at the farm? Thanks for waiting, Don. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie to meet Polly at the warehouse. 
He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian Thanks, Gritzer. home safe, Tommy. I'll try to remember. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Working late, Ruffy? I says his sleep when f -f Frank sleeps. Man, he's been w working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ruff. Bulls records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars to Tom. I, I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. See you in the morning. Okay. I really like him. He's a good guy. All right, drive. Here we go. So there's an audio glitch that can happen on this mission as well. And I need to let you guys know that it is very painful. So if you're listening with headphones on, and the audio glitch happens, it's at the end of the mission. It is really bad, okay? So if that happens, I will need to restart the game because the audio won't work right after that. Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out. Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks. Come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it Sarah later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. Going home to a couch. <laughs> now I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your pecker get all shriveled up. <laughs> Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Come on, everybody. We're at 130 likes. Help us get to 200. I'm gonna go grab them. For a little mafia action. I try to vary these games up, and I hope you guys enjoy. Leaving a like really helps the channel, and it shows YouTube that this is a place you want to come to. So it's very easy to do. Just leave that like. I know a lot of people forget, but it really, really, really helps. All right, so we've got four things to get here. I think three collectibles, I guess, and a fox or something like that. What's been waiting here tonight? Here we go, another, another newspaper. One quarter out of work. Government report shows no end to slowdown. Measures today to fail to halt economic slide. Unemployment stands at 25%. Farm foreclosures are at a two-year high as 
Small holders battle the combined threats of financial hardship and the dust storms, choking the high plains. In response, the president proposes new legislation to stabilize the banking system. I'm sure my wife is listening to me, like in the background, saying, why did I marry this guy? Why? I know that's what I'm saying. The guy we pay to keep this place in check, don't even pretend to farm that. I'm gonna check every orifice that I see here. This don't feel right. Lost Haven, Illinois, June 17th. Harry Smith, missing for two months, was confirmed dead today by the Lost Haven County Coroner's Office. A fruitless search led by the farmer's father and neighbors added several weeks ago. The grisly discovery of the body was made by local children looking for edible mushrooms and berries in woodland local to Clorps Farm. The death is not being treated as suspicious due to how Mr. Smith's body was found. Hanging by the neck, he is survived by his elderly father. In what world does hanging by the neck not be suspicious? Obviously, they're going for the suicide. I don't want to say that word because I'm holy monitors. Oh, you son of a... What kind of guy shoots a dog? Oh. 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 I'm raging. How dare you shoot a dog? This is derelict. All right, here's our first one. Carlo Falcone. All right, so we did number one. Change my voicemail message to that style. That would be hilarious. Ooh, that lightning is hella good. Where the hell are you hiding? I need help where the fox is, guys. And tell me what does it say? Hey, buddy. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Take it cover! Come on! Why don't you guys get a little closer? Because I got a shotgun. So I'd really prefer it if you guys would get a little closer. Shotgun's not going to do very good. See what I mean? I'm far away. Oh, there you go. Okay, there's all kinds of things here. Nothing about this feels right. All right, so where is this fox? Yeah, bud. I'll set. Um, yeah, I, I, I love to be friends with everybody on here. Where is this fox, guys? I need help locating the fox. This was a setup. I didn't take any damage. That was good. The northernmost shack. That's right. That's what he said. Wow! 
me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. The cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. I love our community as well. Get about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Yeah, Fox. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy already. Make Lost Heaven PD look like twisted cats. I think we came from that way. I've only picked up one collectible so far. Check every belt. And here's the northernmost point, right? I mean, this is the, uh, this is that, this is the northernmost point. Maybe like, right there, I guess. I don't know. It's about as much as we can zoom in. There is something in here. There's our second. He almost killed me. All 
I, where is this thing at? Uh, I think it's in here. Okay, so you're talking about the circle, the one on the left of the minimap? So you're talking about like over here? We, we can't even get over there. Am I missing something, everybody? Is there like another way to get... I'm not seeing another... Hmm. Maybe you need to climb? No, you just go across. You don't actually climb. Let me see this one. No, you can't climb that. No, no. Um, okay, well, I don't see anything here. Uh... Alright, let's keep going. I think we found everything up to this point, so we'll keep going. When you get to the second big shootout outdoors, turn around and head to the little shack with a fox. The second? Well, we just did the first big one, so... Okay, here's this would be the second big one, right?
Got it. Okay. All right. Thank Christ. We gotta get to him. <laughs> All right, there's number three. Okay. There should be another collectible. We've only picked up two so far. There has to be another collectible. Crate in the barn where Sam is? Okay. Let me go around and pick up some of their ammunition, because I'm going to need it for this next fight up ahead. We're already really low on health, so I don't like the start of this at all. This is not good. Because health transfers over to the chase scene. Um, so we're actually in a very, very bad, vicarious position right now. You can see where that one is. It's inside. And there's a health there, too. All right. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within 100 yards. Except us. Okay, okay, just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, mm. you stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Holy glitch, Batman. Hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we have. Alright, this is gonna be so hard because we have such little Where health right now. Where did these guys come from? Seen him! Down, Tom! Taking cover! You bastards! Hold on! Add that, you bastard! Thank Christ you came when you did. Jesus, this is a shitty place to die. Come on, Tom, finish him. Checking out over here. Holding to cover. I'd like them to come up a little bit more. Why is he called? Go fine. 
Um, I hope it didn't save the checkpoint. Please, I hope it didn't save the checkpoint because then we can't get the collectible. I didn't know you had to pick it up there before the end of that fight. Please don't save the checkpoint, please. I really hope it didn't save the checkpoint. Oh no. It means that we're going to have to do this mission again and this the second part of this mission is ridiculously tough and I don't want to do it again. I was too busy paying attention to taking everyone out. So I'm just hoping and praying that it did not save the checkpoint. Please tell me it did not save it. If it saved it, we're going to have to play it again later. Damn it! Oh, Christ. Tony and Donnie, too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. All right. Uh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I screwed that up. Come on, out. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do, oh, I gotta do it this way. I gotta wait. Okay, we're gonna repeat this mission just to get that collectible. Okay, because we're not restarting this whole thing. I mean, we're not gonna do that after the story. I don't want to have to restart any missions. So we're just gonna replay it again right now. We got more company. We'll go through it pretty fast though. Alright. Get in. Okay. I'm right here, Sam. We have to get the collectible, so I'm it is a big deal. You, you can't not get it. Yeah, you have to take it before you get to Sam. When they pull in behind you, blast them down! This is the hardest part in this mission. Just don't let them get past us! So what I'm going to do is because of this, I wish we could do something differently, but what we're going to do is see if it'll let us play this mission over again. It looks like there's no way to restart the mission itself. So the only thing I can think of is chapter replay and it won't let us. So we have to finish this mission first before it'll let us do the chapter replay. Okay. So we are going to have to play the whole thing twice again. Damn, that sucks. Uh All because I was an idiot. Uh, I'm so sorry, everybody. Try to make it as smooth as possible, but... This section is a killer and I'm gonna die a million times. That's why I didn't want to do it. By the way, you. stay down. Where the hell did I find that truck? Just focus on the cars. Also, focus on hitting the guys if you can. 
you're gonna die. Like, there's no way to not in this mission. Never, never, ever look up. You don't need to look up. Never look up. There's the second one. You gotta try to at least take out these guys, though. Like I said, you're, the, the, the car's gonna die. Holy bastard! My pedal is to the metal! Oh, I can fail. Yes. Two squad cars on us. Okay. There's more. Get over here now. Huh? Go get. Go. Go say hi to Sega. Huh? What about Pet? You pet Sega? Good job. All right. I want them to kill me, so I want to hurry up, kill me. Ella, Ella I'm a, I'm sorry, baby. Daddy's got to work. Daddy's got to work, honey. Okay. You go to mommy. Go to mommy, thank you, baby. Ella, can you? You want my drink here? Take it. It's all yours. My drink is yours. Go. You can take it. Have fun. I hate saying no to her, but I got to work. Okay, so I'm going to skip all the, the necessary portions. Um, Back then. It, that I need to. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Yeah. We're just going to be going straight to the points. We'll be getting through it pretty fast. We shouldn't have to recollect any of the um, any of the things we got already. Well, we can do it after the first help of Sam. Just don't grab Sam the second time, and then we should be good. But you see how quick we can get here. And again, I do apologize, guys, but we're being very thorough, making sure we grab everything the first time. Someone's I'm waiting here tonight. Guy we pay to keep this place in check, don't even put that in front of her. I just don't feel right. What kind of guy shoots a dog? As you can see, the collectible is no longer here. Derelict. I don't know if the fox stays that way too. Find out. Where the hell are you hiding? Hey, buddy. What's wrong? What's wrong, honey? What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Honey. You're okay. Where's mommy? Where's your foot? Okay. It's okay. It's okay, girly. It's okay. No. Okay. See, Dad made it better. Okay. No. <laughs> Hate it when she cries. Get some cover. There is. We're not rushing. There we go.
nothing about this feels right. It must have taken longer to die. Okay. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. Those cops are gonna be alright. Make Lost Heaven PD look like pussy cats. Shot in the back of the head. Must have been lined up. Poor bastards. Check every building. You can play multiple ones. Yeah, border cops doing the rebels dirty work. Over here! Grabbing cover! Get his attention! We're just about caught up almost. game. <laughs> Wasted a lot of ammunition there, but should be all right. Okay. So, is anyone going to drop me an actual weapon that I need? Alright, at least I got this here. Okay. Full health, we're ready to go. believe how much freaking damage these guys actually take.
just want to make sure that the fox isn't still here. Hey, okay, cool. Fox is gone, so we're good. Hey, Christ. We gotta get to him. Stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. See, it didn't take us long to catch back up. Once I finish this first section of the fight, that's when I'm going to find it. I got caught. Grace has a lot of blood. Can you walk? No, I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. Just hang on. I'll go get the truck. Then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey. You're going to make it, Sam. Tommy, hmm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. It'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we have. Where did all these guys come from? Over here! Get down, Tom! Did they all survive that? Hair tails. Okay, I think we're good. Jesus Christ! Ugh. Where's the goddamn truck? Crap, we got cops! Oh my god, it didn't hit it. Yet. Fireball! 
Got it. Just in time. Nice. And we've got perfect health. This will make, hopefully, this section a little bit more bearable. Because we'll always start oh, with perfect Christ. health. Tony and Donnie, too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. So the biggest things to worry about are the cars. There is huge. Where the hell did I find that truck? You won't beat this the first time. Like it's impossible. die here because the health is already too low. See? It's impossible. I don't I literally legitimately don't think you can do this the first time. I think you you're you I think you're gonna have to die the first time. I just don't see how you can do it. Because there's no way to stop them from damaging your car at all. There's no way to stop them. Like you can't shoot their car and it not damage your car. And it just takes, on, on Classic, it just takes way too much off of the car. So I think a checkpoint is really the only way that you're going to be able to do it. You see, we get a little bit more health. Each and every single time that we die, or that, that we didn't die, it's, it's our car's health died. You see how they're always shooting? got to try to shoot the guys that are obviously on the sides but since you can't aim because you'll die immediately it's so hard all right second part's done i think You can survive pretty easily. Just don't stand up. Chef, you okay? We're in trouble, Tom. Just don't stand up. Like at first, you probably can. We try to take some of them out, but don't literally don't stand up because they'll they'll kill you almost instantly. 
remember, you got unlimited, unlimited health, or not health, but unlimited, uh... Ollie, we need to go now! See, even this, even this, it's so hard to, to, to beat it. See what I mean? You'll, again, you get the checkpoint and then you'll have a little bit more truck health. It's not your health that's dying, it's the truck's health. And on Classic, it's just, it's ridiculous. You can try all you want, but you're most likely going to have at least one or two truck deaths. See, look at my health, it just went all the way down. Because I tried. We're doing okay this time, though. You don't like Tommy? I love Tommy. Tommy's great. Yes, Magna, this is live. This part is really tough. You've got to shoot that thing. Shit! You're gonna die first here, automatically. You don't have enough. See what I mean? Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, it's just... It's just so tough. You're just going to die every single time. But the second time you should be able to get it because you have just a little bit more health. It, it spawns you with a little bit more. Next part is the windows. This one's a little easier because you can actually go right up to it, but don't let the car hit you though, that's the problem. This one's pretty easy. Get out! Another! Throw another! Oh, we did it! We did it! This is where an audio glitch can happen. We did the we did the race the we we passed the race the first time well technically the second time just because the first the first time we did it the first uh, the first turn we got hit and it, it caused our car to spin so we restarted once and then we beat it so race wasn't too difficult for us. Remember guys, we're trying to get a new monitor, so if you want to help out, and you enjoy the channel, you find it entertaining, you're getting something out of it, uh, make sure you click on that Stream Elements link in the description and support the channel. Otherwise, make sure you leave a like and uh, interact with the channel a little bit to help keep growing the channel. This is what we do for a living, and I love bringing these walkthroughs to you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy them. Guys and gals. That's already got his hand full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. We'll be fine. Okay. I like this mission. It's just really hard. 
You did good tonight. So this is where it can glitch. Um, I don't think there's any collectibles inside this, right? If I'm not mistaken. There's a sound thing that can glitch here in this section. There is, however, something inside. Oh, there is a collectible right here. Right there. Boom. I didn't even... Wow. I didn't even know there was a collectible there. Cigarette card. All right. What did I tell you? If you enter into this building, that is what happens. So what I'm going to do is to, to keep your guys' ears from just freaking out. I'm going to turn the sound off. I'm going to do this to myself. We're going to have to restart the game after this mission. Okay. So we should have the checkpoint here. So I have to close the game down. And then bring it back up. This is, I told you guys, this is something that happens. Green, thank you so much for the tip, man. Um, yeah, this totally sucks. Green and Andrew. Uh, 30, okay. Get good? I beat the freaking race, like, on the first time, and you're telling me to get good. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, we already got the collectible. So, that means we shouldn't have to go inside and get the health. I don't need the health thing. You see how bad that is? I mean, if I let that play anymore, it's awful. And what it does is it completely screws up your sound for the rest of the game, unless you restart the game. You'll be able to hear conversations, but all the sound in the game will be muted, essentially. Everything but conversations. So the good news is we should already have this. Just don't enter the warehouse. Yep, see? It's already there. You don't need any health. We're good. We can go ahead and finish this up. Just don't enter inside. There's your lesson, guys. Don't enter inside and you're good to go. Hey, Lady K, how you doing? Yep, just don't enter inside and you won't get that uh, glitch, I guess. see we have another collectible here i believe it's not part of the mission it's probably a street just a street one black mask it's our first one all right I don't know if there's any more. There we go. Okay. You're late. Dinner's cold. We're almost at uh, 200, guys. We're at 150 likes, so keep them coming. If you have not had a chance to leave a like, it really helps. Work.
So, this is what us adults call a love scene. However, this love scene is done in a very, very good and tasteful way, as opposed to some other games. <laughs> look how it, look how they did his hair. It's all sh I love it. I think they did a great job with this game. Just obviously still glitches and stuff like that. Audio glitch. Marry me. Okay. I mean, he could have been a little bit more romantic. Well, I guess you really wouldn't call that a love scene, since there was really no love making or taking in the scene. But it's not needed, right? You don't need it. You don't need to see it. I'm past. I'm past the. I'm past the age of where it's like, ooh, a love scene. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm too old for that stuff now. All right, next mission. How many collectibles? Hey, bud. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. Five collectibles. We have a mole, Tom. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe... Look yes, this game is awesome, bud. Suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. Well, thanks for watching, man. This has got to be some Who's kind your... of understanding. Buddha. Calling him all day. <laughs> I went by his place. Glad to have you here, He's buddy. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Okay, so I don't know where collectibles are. I'm going to look around a little bit. There's quite a bit. There's like five of them here. Also, let me tell you something about this mission. You can actually complete this mission super fast. Okay. Behind the crate on a diner where the mission starts. Okay. You can complete this mission super fast. If you just run literally straight for where Frank is, you can get in there and complete this mission. But we're not going to do that. I think that's the one you were talking about. So, if you didn't care about getting the collectibles, when you get to the airport and you go through the first little stealth section, after that, just run straight down the middle and you can literally complete the mission, just like that. 
We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And some special here, if you want it. On the bar inside the Black Cat Bar with Little Tony. Tough day today, Tom. And Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. The old ways work. These streets just look so freaking real. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want. L.A. Noir? Yeah, it depends. I, they're two different <laughs> games, to you? in my opinion, so I would not compare How them. about 40? All right, Spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black. Yes, you can watch the stream. Once it's done, it'll turn itself into a video. He's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Hello, Intel Rush. Welcome. Over on Twitch. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Yeah, all my streams will automatically turn into videos as soon as they're done. So you'll be able to watch these forever and ever and ever, just like it was a video. Make sure you always turn on live chat replay too, because it just makes it a lot more funner to see what everyone else is saying when you're watching. If you're on Twitch, of course, you already get that feature when you watch videos. I know we've been skipping a lot of the driving. That's because we're going to be doing a lot of driving in the free roam once we um, start tackling those collectibles and stuff like that. So you'll see all of that there. All right, here's the little Tony bar. There should be a collectible inside here. Everything okay, Tom? There we go. Tear tails. All right. Also a newspaper here. Go get them, boys! Game 7 of the 1933 Gold Series takes place today. The Lost Heaven Lancers play the Empire Bay Cannons at the Armory, with one team certain to take home the trophy. After a heroic campaign filled with exhilarating twists, Captain Bunny Smith will lead his men onto the diamond to play for the Lancers' first series victory in over two decades. More at 11. Nah, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom. I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom. What's we'll going on? Alright, drive to the safe house. So, here we go.
You said the next two are at the airport, but there's a total of... Looks like the place. There's a total of five. How many have we picked up? We've picked up... Only... We've picked up two so far. There's still three left. Last one is at the bank. Okay. Yo, Frankie! Why'd you do this, Frankie? All right, this is simple, you know, just stay back. Account books, Frank. Just don't go too far. All right, so the the ones at the airport are going to be a little hard for me, so you guys are going to have to really kind of guide me because um, you, I'm trying to focus on stealth at the same time. Because you can stealth the airport, but you can also just run straight through the airport, too. And I don't... Obviously, we're not going to run straight through. Where are they moving you to? Dude, why are you moving faster? That's your fault. Bro! Come on. Dude's just be running out in the middle of the street, not even looking. It's a over here! I'm going injured in Albrook. Nearby officers, the driver needs finding. <laughs> He was driving a green car. License plate Delta Victor 086. I always have the worst luck when it comes to just pedestrians. Running into me. Some kind of meat happening. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Mommy. Mom, no, mommy's taking care of you right now, honey. What mommy? What mommy says goes, honey. Honey, what mommy says goes. Mommy says goes. If she wants, if she wants you in there, huh? Ella, Ella, go to mommy. Hey, hon, can you shut my door? Sorry, baby. Ella always comes to me if she doesn't get her way with mom. You know how hard it is as a dad to. To, like, not want to stop what I'm doing. Ah, uh, shit. They're taking you to the airport, Frank. It's funny. I don't know why she comes to me. I am so much more stricter than Mom is. Like, I legit have a problem with, uh... Allowing my daughter to do just about anything because I'm I'm so scared that something's gonna happen. Like that's one of my biggest fears as a father is is you know not being able to be there to protect her, you know. Kind of letting your daughter go and let her go out and do things, it's gonna be the hardest thing on me. Because I see her I see her in me, you know, or I see me in her, I guess. So it legit scares me every time she goes out somewhere and I'm not there to be able to protect her. Okay, so can I stay on the left side to do this or do I need to go to the right side to do this? Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. This is the section I told you about where you can... Um, just pretty much go straight through after this little section here. I'm just, I'm going to be a very overprotecting dad. And that's not good for her either. It's not good to be that way. 
but it's just something I think is going to happen because I love her so much. It's it's hard. It's it's hard to relinquish a little bit of that, you know. Fox in the parking lot. There's no fox in the parking lot. Left corner? Really? I don't see a thing here that says there's a fox here. Which chapter is this? Oh my gosh, you're right. Just stick it out there. Like nobody's business. <laughs> oh, it doesn't count it as in this mission because you it's probably there all the time. Right? Not just not just now, but like it's there. Um, the comic book is in the building on the right side. Okay. So you can easily get past this section by going through that window there. We all want the same thing. We can't say I'm happy dealing with these. Surprised they didn't say hangar 18 or hangar 13. I heard there's some guy the feds are handing over before he's flown out in a civilian plane. So you can go through this window to, to move on and then you can just run straight to the objective. But because there might be collectibles here, I have to take this guy out, I guess. <coughs> Told me nothing. I do like, I do appreciate the little bit of stealth you can do here. So you can just go through that window and then run essentially straight ahead through there. You'll get fired at, but you can get to the objective easily. Where'd the other guy go? Did he disappear? I only see one cop here. All right, so right, right now I'm just looking around. I said it would be on the right side. Anyone know what's going on? They're with the FBI. It's some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Oh, they're handing him over to who? Those men with the plane looked like gangsters. How long did it done? Super science. All right, where's the next one? I'm due to fly. As soon as they fly their prisoner out, I guess. I don't know. A lot of these men don't look like cops. On top of a blue barrel in a fenced-in area. So there's nothing else inside this building? I know there's stairs here. What weapon do I have right now? Oh, it's a shoddy. Okay, uh... Go with the bolt. That looks like a small T. This one here? The other T I see could be considered that one. Or I'm thinking you're meaning this one. It's got to be this one. 
Morello had to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. So at this point, you can literally just go straight to right there. But you could do it from down there, go straight in, all the way around, and you can get there easily. Gives us the books. Our accounting guys go through them with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, no but one's getting through don't here. Don't tell Yeri's guys to fly the group before we're done. That's why we'll round them up. Hey, there's something in there. I don't know what that is. Right there. Activation, money laundering, corruption, smuggling, prostitution. Yeah, the book's too big to throw at him. We're going to make this. When I get home, she'll know exactly how she made me feel. We're going to stick with stealth, though. All right, like I said here, just run straight through those guys. You should be able to make it if you have full health. Okay, so this is the T. So you're saying it should be here, right? It's the way they got Capone. And now is how Ennio Salieri dies in jail. It's a good day, my friend. Running for cover! Mistakes were made. They didn't show up on the map. They did not show up on the map. I was looking at the, the two guards that was on, probably because we haven't seen them yet. They don't show up until you've seen them. Now they're there, see? Go down. But with guns blazing. Stoolies and tax records. Huh. That's the way they got Capone. And now is how Ennio Salieri dies in jail. It's a good day, my friend. When this is over, the whole city's ours. What is that little mark right there? Is that a grenade mark? How are you supposed to get in there, though? Okay. So I think I need to come over here. Okay, here's this one on the blue barrel. Next one. Tommy, remember the basics of CQC. What was that, a cigarette card? 
No, that wasn't Frank. What was what was the one I just picked up? Geesh, I didn't even look. It was a cigarette card. There we go. I think it was... Although, I don't know why that says Frank. We already picked up Frank. 20 seconds to the cigarette card. I don't even know what the hell that means. Okay, next one. Next one is in the bank. How many have we picked up? How many collectibles have we picked up so far? There should be a total of five. How many have we picked up? Carlos plane is waiting for Coletti in one of the hangars. Okay, we picked up four already? All right. Sorry, I haven't been counting. I gotta start, uh, I gotta start counting. Alright, so I don't think we can stealth around much more. The guy right on the other side there. Like a glove. Nice. Here we go. We did it. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but... Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Told them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple.
God damn you, Frank. So good, right? I mean, come on, that's such good writing. It really is. Yeah, you see a lot of Mafia 2 people in this as well, like as far as those trading cars and stuff, yeah. I don't know where the collectible. Oh, I, th I think I'll find it. I'm sure. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Yeah, the game does not give you a choice. You you do it automatically, I believe. Beautiful day, huh? Uh huh. Been out of trouble, I hope. You guys, don't mind if I steal your gangster monthly. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Yeah, freelancer mode is pretty cool. I haven't played it in a while. Need to get back into Hitman again. The World of Assassination one. I'm sure. I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Got a Mexican standoff. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. So good. Rat in the house completes. There we go, 26%. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Don't forget to continue to leave a like. Support the channel any way you can. I know I say that all the time, but you gotta, we gotta keep promoting ourselves. Visiting rich people. So, how many collectibles we got in this one? Um, we got another mystery fox. 
Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. Three collectibles American and a... Hey, Tommy? I suppose. And a mystery fox. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open it. That's a good one, Jan. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Uh, just do... Nothing you can't handle. Just do one at a time, it's fine. The theater. So the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si. Who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di conoscerti. I consider myself rich. I'm rich with love that I have for everybody. Love I have for my family. That is all the money I need in this world. It is... Um, the money of love, of kindness, of being good to others. That is my richness. I'm proud of that. Vito, I mean, come on, no one's going to beat Vito, but Tommy, ecco. definitely good. Entriamo da lì. Over. Wall. Labirinto. What? Vedrai. Are there any collectibles outside? Oh, a maze. Un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare, in America, hanno il labirinto. There's someone in the maze. What? I literally got up behind him and something happened, so not sure. Sure wish I could have a night off. I just would assume that this is how I think all people should should be. But I know that's not the case, and it is unfortunate. I just got nothing but love for everybody. Yeah, I could see that. This bit reminds you of the order. I could totally see that. Is there anything in the um, in the maze at all? That's surprising. It said outside next to the pool. Hello. Nothing to see here, buddy. <laughs> Need to find the pool. There's someone in the maze with us! There's 
someone in the maze with us. Nice evening for standing around, I guess. Dang it, man. How did this guy see me? I mean, I don't even know how this guy saw me. I didn't think anyone would see me. It must have been when I was trying to get to the third guy. All right, let's try this again. Over. What? Oh, a maze. Un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto. I tell you what, take the night off. Someone in the bank. Kind of up. I hit the button. We're okay. Should not have went down that way. Like I said, stealth is very hit and miss in this game. There's someone in the maze with us. That is just that it's bullcrap. There, first of all, there was nothing in there that indicated there was a guy there. It always tells you where the guys are, so you need. And the game needs to be consistent. If you're going to tell me that there's someone here, then it should tell you. Stay here while I take out the guards. Just doesn't make sense. Sure wish I could have a night off. Yeah, I don't have to pick up the comic again, but the unfortunate part is it's not... I wanted to show it off, and I didn't get the opportunity to do that. There is not a guy over there.
I think that guy literally just appeared out of no out of thin air. Where is this guy at? There he is. Okay. I think that's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear! Tommy! I hear! Do you remember what it was I just picked up? Was it a gangster? Maybe it was that one? Later, Jin. Is there any other ones outside here, or are they inside? Where the hell did he go? <sighs> Guy's a pain in the ass. What? C'è un'entrata. Open. Kick. What kind of luck picker are you? Look for a dipinto. Uh, what? Um, da Vinci, Caravaggio, uh, I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind a painting? See, see. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. There's one. Empire Bay mob boss murdered. Spectacular pictures of vile kingpins, fiery end. Notorious racketeer Tommaso Morietti was killed outside his Empire Bay residence last Thursday afternoon. The sole victim of a car bomb undoubtedly planted by an underworld rival. Bay residents will hope that Morietti's death brings an end to the spot of the spang violence that has rocked this city in recent months. Few will mourn his passing. Sembra di valori. Al procuratore piace la roba costosa. Only wall behind here. I didn't even look to see what it was. Ma'am! 
Oh, it's a cigarette card. They didn't give me an option to take her out, or I would have. Help us! We're not here to hurt you. Just get out of the house. There's two. So that's a total of three so far. Here, Tommy. Mystery Fox in a storage closet in the second floor of the prosecutor's mansion. There's one. I'm going to look around first before I do any more of the paintings up here. go. Alright, so that's two. There's a health there. You know it's going to be that one. Looking for the next... Is that all that's in here? Yeah, we've already came over here. Is there, there's got to be another, right? I think that's it. I think we found everything. So we'll just go through the motions here. Now, can we get caught by her? That's my question. assume not to mess with her. Guess we got another room to check. Okay, this should be it. Prosecutor Watkins, I am writing to thank you. If you can truly give us reliable witnesses, testimonies, and evidence that Salieli had Billy killed, 
I'll be in your debt. The police story never rang true. And now he's dead. And buried this feels like our last throw of the dice. If witnesses ask for too high of a price, I will cover it. Likewise, our mutual friend will be able to apply some pressure. Stamping out Sally Ailey and his family will be good for all of us. These are dangerous times. I worry for your safety and safety of your family. You will soon receive some men at your home who will protect you. With gratitude, Rabato. Uh, uh. Scusa. Sure. Show me what you can do. Shit. Be quick, How does this game compare to the original? Oh, it's night and day. It's totally different. Because the original was such an early time in the PlayStation 2's era. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Vai dietro, dietro. They gotta be upstairs. The safe's in his study. Hey. <clears throat> definitely do that. Salvatore, stay back! I'll deal with him. Is this, uh, this is hilarious. I thought we were doing, uh, uh the naked gun right there. <laughs> oh, jeez. Santissimo! 
Ich. We're good, we're good. Grazie Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six and uh, Maple. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I've been pretty lucky so far. It's because I've just been taking my time. We've only failed in just a few parts because of one thing or another, but... Good night. Uh, night. Not bad, though. Blood on Beach Hill. All right. I think we got time we could do one more mission and then we'll save the rest of it for the next stream on Friday. This one's called The Great Deal. I think there's two collectibles in this one. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. You said years. four. But we got to make payroll. Get it out of here. Oh, wow. Where it Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss. I'm just seeing two in this you next one. On a job I pulled with Salvatore. You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. This is chapter 12, right? At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks you ago. You can't remove trophies on PlayStation. in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about so how... So two of them are ones you can get in the main world, and two of them are... The goons he's working for story related. twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. We'll be cutting up the last bean pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. One of the boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. Okay, so you're saying in this warehouse we have some collectibles. Oh, I already got this one. Oh, you're saying that there's another one here, too. I got that one in, like, the previous...
Now these are um, three mode ones. Yeah. So these ones don't count for the mission because they're just there in the free roam. All right, so I think we can go ahead and go now. That's all right. I still want to pick them up, even if it's okay, free roam. Uh, looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, uh, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen. I spend more time with Adon than all of you's put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his bra. <laughs> yeah. I want to pick up everything I can at that moment so I don't have to go back and do it again. The only thing that's going to be tough, as long as I know what the name of them are, then I don't have to worry about when I'm in the free roam doing multiples, you know what I mean? I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always close so where the are these ones? I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. In front of the springs. Oh, I see one right here. There's literally one right here. Detective Dime. So there's one. Now you said in the modern What's the hold on? on a sprinkler thing or something. I talk to myself sometimes. Okay. Oh, drive to the top floor. <laughs> yeah, because I think we're going to get into a big fight here, so... Place seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. All right, so my guess is we'll be able to get in here later. Because as you can see, it's shut right now. Yep, I can't get in there right now. All right, that's got to be later. Okay. We need to know about Gates Bowie. Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. What's the Our hold kind up? of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. You know, for easy getting out. Polly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste. Sometimes I talk to left strain and right strain. Really exactly. Expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Oh, damn it, boy! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. 
I don't think he's going to pay for a new one. Gates took a bullet. And this ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. More of them. Get over here, you bastard. Who are these guys? Get they keep cover. coming. Got you now. Okay, that should be the last one. Terror. Don't forget, guys, help support the channel. Keep the channel going. This is what we do for a living. If you are enjoying, make sure you leave a like. It really helps. Use the links in the description. Hopefully I've made this uh, fun for all of you. Face. Christ. 
Stay close and keep moving, fellas. Keep the booze safe. I'll move the trip with you. Over see more? You shoot him. See him! Thank God. I was so that was so lucky. Okay, we're getting out of here. I can't believe I lived through that. Follow him close. I know. I can't tell you how lucky that was. I didn't die. Lots of guys. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Now we already got that collectible. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Get them where it hurts! ridiculous this is it's i can't actually help in the situation because it takes so long for me to shoot it down that it automatically just takes so much damage more guys after us. there's just there's just gonna be no way oh, another motor coming after the bull truck. Okay, it's dead you see what i mean it's ridiculous it's like they they just made it to the point where you're just you're gonna have to restart checkpoints there's nothing you can do about it I mean, I could go up and try to hit them and everything, but um, there's that type of difficulty I don't like. I don't like difficulty where um, you just got to get lucky to get by. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. Because you can't well, aim on your own. You can only I shoot the car. To die. And because of that, you're literally, I guess, just going to have to like... Okay, let's slow him down some. Hit him where it hurts. You see what I'm saying? I mean, what can I do? I can only do so much. I just have to get really lucky. I think the best method is just going to be to try to go up to him and like bump him. Because me shooting the cars doesn't do a dang thing. It takes about uh, five separate reload animations before you take out a car. Get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Over here. I knew it. We got more guys on us. Okay, let's 
It's just ridiculous. What can I do? Look, the car's already dead. This one is just very frustrating. I don't remember this one being that hard, though. If, if, if the game would let me actually do somewhat of aiming while I'm driving, then I could, I could say, okay, I need to shoot the individual guys, the but the game doesn't allow you to do that. It only allows you to shoot the car. For now, let's get the bulls back to the warehouse and try not to die. So you're just stuck doing this. I knew it. We got more guys on us. Okay, let's slow them down some. Get them where it hurts. Maybe just get in front of them. See if it would just let me aim at them. Let me aim at the freaking guy. See, that's three separate reloads I had to do. Makes me feel like that Uncharted 4 mission. I have done literally the car came out and it got in front of Sam Sam hit the car then the car is being dragged by Sam and the guy can easily just kill the car just like that what honestly what could I have done there what this is where hanger needs to really really figure things out I know this is a hard difficulty. It's supposed to be challenging. This is not challenging. This is How the hell did Morello hear This is enraging. Okay, There's a difference between actually making city. something challenging well, the and then just making the mechanics not work right very well. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Get them where it hurts! You're already down halfway. Look, look at that. The cars are way faster. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. I don't know what the heck you want me to do. I can't sit there and aim at him. Do that. That's about it. Send more guys after us. Another motor coming after the bull's truck. And that's what happens when you gotta look. The game is awesome, but these things can totally wreck the funness of the game. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the bulls back to the warehouse and try not to die. Looks like the game forgot to load. The game forgot to load. Okay, 
Let's slow him down. Okay, I'm gonna restart that. That was funny. The game literally forgot to load the textures. I did. I chose hell for the last mission, didn't I? How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Oh my god, the game is not loading, dude. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay. Let's slow him down some. Get him wearing Potato it. mode, ladies and gents. Dude, look at this potato mode. What's going on? Another motor coming after the boost truck. God, all this potato mode stuff is hilarious. Look at this. Does this happen on every PlayStation mission, or is it just... I don't know what to say about this. I'm like playing... I'm playing an early pre-alpha. Uh, I think we lost them all. Thank Christ for that. <laughs> Let's head home. See what we got. We got what booze. is going on? I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. <laughs> God, what the hell is going <laughs> Oh, we get a cutscene with it, too. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Green's got jokes. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Salud! <laughs> it's Salud. potato mode on the PlayStation 5. There you go. Best laid plans. I mean, this is just freaking hilarious. I I don't understand why this happened like this at all. So I'm going to let it save there, but that's going to be it for today, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. We will be finishing the story up on Friday. And then, of course, after Friday, um, depending on what we what we don't get done. Yeah, so after Friday, depending on what we don't get done, we'll have maybe have to do another stream uh, for the game. Uh, we can finish the story definitely on Friday. And then at that point, if we still have time, we can do as much of the free roaming collectibles and all that stuff that we possibly can do. 
So that'll be the goal as of uh, what we're doing. Um, thanks for, you know, the donations today. Thanks, Green. Thanks, Andrew, Sean, Gritzer, Leanne. You all are helping us uh, to get that new um, that new monitor, which is very, very, very much needed, as well as our new desk. So um, thank you all for those of you that do support the channel. Remember, you can support the channel any way that you want, either by leaving a like, commenting, uh, sharing the videos on your social medias, uh, going a little step further, becoming a member, a Patreon, a Twitch subscriber, um, donating via the Stream Elements link, a Super Chat, buy me a coffee, all that kind of stuff is available. Check whatever is the easiest way for you to do uh, to show your support so we can keep going for as, as long as we can as we continue to make our goal. Um, I know it's going to take a while, but um, we're going to keep pushing for it because it's very much needed. Other than that, love you all. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you guys. Um, on uh on friday stream for mafia uh definitive edition part two where we should be able to finish the story up i'm gonna actually s uh quit the game here because i bet you it's gonna keep doing what you need to do and you're gonna have to restart anyway so hopefully it should come back up when we need it to so uh we're doing pretty good so far other than that love you all take care of yourselves be safe and um gotcha oh i got you I got gotcha. you. I did a little early this time, so you had no clue I was doing it. Man, did I ever. Oh, oh my God, you got, I got you so two. Two times. Two times you were got. Hope you realize that um, kind of a badass. I will always get you guys, okay? Because I'm that cool, all right? Anyways, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow for Red Dead Redemption 2, and we'll see you Friday for more Mafia Definitive Edition. Peace out. Peace. Totally got it. You flickered. You were waiting for it. I see you sitting there, Renee. See so you're like, it's going to get me. I'm Google. I can see it. I can see all you doing that. Yeah.